Oh, holy gosh, gee golly, Willikers. I am so excited to be playing some more Hello Neighbor. That last game really had me quaking in my boots by the end of it. Jesus, why is this guy driving like a total maniac? I'm more worried about why this guy looks like the neighbor. There is no way that is just a coincidence, right? You never know, Barack. Maybe he just so happens to have a very similar face. I get told that I have a similar face to people all of the time. Joe, what kind of skeletons are people comparing you to? The only person that I can think of that looks anything like you is current time Michael Jackson. Ooh, wait a second, Donald. There's something rattling in those bushes. It's just a damn cat, Joe. I don't even know why we're here. This place just looks like a normal neighborhood. Ah! Oh my God, it's him. It's the neighbor. Oh no, you leave that little man alone, you bastard. Wait, why is he taking the kid inside? I thought the whole point of the last game was that he was trying to keep kids out. Oh no, do you guys think that he's coming to get us? He can fucking try me, Joe. I will knock this suburban bitch into the ground. Not a chance, Donald. We are getting the ever-living fuck out of here. There is no way that I am meeting my end because of this asshole. Ah! Oh my god, he hit us. Quickly, go, go, go. I'm fucking going, Joe. Don't you have eyes? We're gonna crash. Ah! Oh my god, that was stressful. Stressful? That was dumb as fuck is what that was. You guys could have just let me beat the snot out of that cartoon dad-looking ass, and none of this would have ever happened. What the hell is this place here? Why are there so many gears all over the place? I think that the neighbor already set a trap for us. Maybe we were unconscious for a little while back there. It sure does look like the sun is almost coming up. We were at nighttime during the cutscene. Well, what the fuck are we supposed to do now? Why can't we just break that glass, take the crowbar, and smash the neighbor's head in already? We could dome the neighbor and be back in time for breakfast. Oh, come on, Donald. Violence is never the answer. There must be some kind of way to break out of here and get the child without having to resort to any kind of violent solutions. Violence is literally always the answer, Joe. I cannot remember a single time that anything was ever won without using metric shit tons of violence. Are we just going to skip over the fact that Joe is wanting to grab the child? The parole officer warned us that we shouldn't be letting him anywhere near kids again. I couldn't give less of a shit about the feds right now, Barack. I've got my crowbar now. I'm going to straight up Gordon Freeman, this rejected Family Guy character. I don't think that we are supposed to use the crowbar as a weapon, Donald. Look, it looks like we are supposed to use it to pry open some doors. You can use a tool for more than one thing, you fucking idiot. A crowbar is just as effective at opening doors as it is bashing across the face of Kitty Diddling Simpson's background characters. Donald, can you stop spouting your verbal vomit for like five minutes, please? I think that was the last gear that we need to get the hell out of here. Oh, yay! I was starting to worry that we might not be able to get to that little guy quick enough. We've got to get in there and make sure that he is safe and sound. Joe, putting him in your wake won't be doing him any favors in terms of safety. Ah! Oh, my God, it's him. <sighs> oh, we are so boned. For fuck's sake, guys. We should have beat the shit out of this dude from the beginning. We would be completely fine if we did that. Maybe we will still be fine, Donald. Maybe he's just going to put us to bed and was just checking up on us after the crash. Joe, he hit us across the face with a fucking shovel. We are definitely in the basement right now. This looks like natural light though, Donald. I have absolutely no idea why. But I'm pretty sure that this actually is outside. Wait, what's going on with the television? Why is it doing that whole static thingy? Maybe the Slender Man is nearby, Joe. You had better watch behind you. He might be coming over at any time now. Ah! Oh my God, please, Slender Man, don't do it. Donald, stop trying to freak him out. What the hell are these things anyway? Is these security cameras? Why are there a shit ton of security cameras plugged into this place? Is this our house? Oh, wow, look at us. We are such a hip young lad. Oh, I remember when I was this young. Oh, let's go and have some youthful fun. Joe, when you were this young, we were still using stones to kill woolly mammoths. I can promise you that whatever was your kind of youthful fun isn't possible anymore. Oh, come on, Donald. I'm sure that there is still plenty of things that we could be doing to have some fun. Why don't we head on over to the local swimming pool and join all of our fellow youths in the fun? Joe, they have your picture at the swimming pool, remember? There is no way that they are going to let you in. Maybe they will if we just ask them nicely, Barack.
I wonder what's up on the roof anyway. Maybe there is a cool extra item or something. Oh, I'm really hoping that this guy keeps a gun up here. I would absolutely love to be taking those damn pigeons out of the sky right about now. Donald, who on earth would keep a gun on their damn rooftop? You would have to be completely insane to be keeping your guns like that. What the fuck are you talking about, Barack? I keep my guns like that all of the time. No matter where I am in my house, I have made absolutely sure that I am never outside of reaching distance to at least five different guns. That includes when I am outside or when I am on the potty. Why am I not surprised that you have taken the thing that I called insane and tripled it? Let's just get the hell out of here already. I am pretty sure that blue house just across the street is the neighbor's one, right? Let's go and see what we can find in there. Oh boy, it looks like there's a police officer right there. Maybe we should go over and tell them what we saw. Not a chance, Joe. There is no way that I am letting the damn feds get anywhere near me. Why is that, Donald? Are you scared that they might have finally gotten the arrest warrants approved or something? No, Barack. I've got the guy that creates the arrest warrants on my payroll. There is no way that I'm ever getting one of those things put out on me. I just don't want the coppers to stop me from doing this the good old-fashioned way. Whoa! What is going on with that place over there? It's really giving me the creeps! Joe, I've seen you get creeped out by pigeons on the side of the road. Let's just focus on getting inside for now, huh? It's not my fault that their little beaks are so scary. Wait, you're telling me that this dumbass just left his door unlocked? This guy is a fucking idiot. Clearly, he wasn't at all ready for the epic ninja moves of the Big D Trump. Donald, if your idea of epic ninja moves is to walk through an unlocked fucking door, then I can start to see why you seem to think that you are some kind of advanced stealth master. Oh, what a cute drawing. Did you guys see that? Whoever made that is going to grow up to be a real artist, you know? Joe, we literally saw the dude dragging the kid that made this down into the basement earlier. At this rate, whoever made that drawing isn't going to grow up at all. Oh, please don't go saying that, Donald. Things like that are going to get me real scared for this kid. Can we please just find him already? That's why we're here in the first place, Joe. It seems like we need to find a few more of those doll things. Does anyone see any kind of dolls around here? Ooh, ooh, I think that I saw one up in the air vents, Barack. Oh, come here, Dolly Dolly. Oh, look at this thing. It is so cute. Oh, little Mr. Neighbor, you are going to be sharing a home with the little Missy girl very soon. And that right there is a perfect example of why you aren't allowed anywhere near the community pools. Is anyone else kind of weirded out by all of this strange ass bathroom decor? This looks like something that I would see out of my great grandmother's house. Oh, don't go hating on it, Barack. I think that it actually looks pretty good. Joe, you are probably just saying that because you have a bathroom that looks exactly like this. That is not true, Donald. We have way more leopard print stuff in my one. Why are all of these picture frames smashed? This place is starting to look more like an abandoned building than anyone's actual home. Ooh, there's a code lock there. Oh, I wonder what's back there. How about we just focus on those dolls first? I am pretty sure that the neighbor's one was behind here. Now that is why I am the smartest president of all time. Oh, wow. What is going on with that map right there? I'm not sure, Joe. It looks like there is some kind of X over the top of that tree, though. Maybe there is something hidden over there or something. Can we get back to how fucking awesome I am for finding the doll already? I am willing to bet that you two bozos wouldn't have thought to check back there in a million years. Calm your ego down, Donald. We have still got another doll to find before we complete the set. Now where the hell is that last one hiding? Wasn't there coppers around this section of the house? Stay low, guys. There's no way that I'm gonna let the feds find me like this. Ooh, maybe we can head upstairs. Wait, why can we not just break down this tape with the crowbar? It's just tape, isn't it? Is the tape reinforced with concrete or something? You see, Joe, this is why you should never trust the damn feds. They are always employing some kind of dirty tactic to get their way. Donald, you are still just angry that they caught you with all of those documents. You didn't have any problems with cops a few months ago. Wait, why is there a combination safe here? How the hell are we supposed to know the combination? Maybe we can just use the crowbar and a bit of good old-fashioned brute force to get ourselves inside. Or maybe we can just use the very obvious solution to the puzzle. All of these blocks only have one number on them. It's clearly trying to tell us that these blocks are the combination to the safe. Oh, wow, Barack! You know, you really are a smart one. I don't think that I could have ever thought of that. 
And that is exactly why you are the one that we all lost hope for a decade ago. I figured this puzzle out like an hour ago. Stop the cap, Donald. Not only were you saying that we should try and bust the safe open just 30 seconds ago, but we've literally only been playing this game for like 10 minutes. There is no possible way that you could have figured this out an hour ago. You clearly just don't understand my overwhelming genius, Barack. Guys, can we just focus on what the hell this key is supposed to be for? Do you guys even remember seeing anything that has a slot for a key? Wasn't there that outdoor cellar that was locked? Maybe there is something that we can use this for out there. No way, Barack. If I know this neighbor asshole at all, then there is definitely some kind of door to the basement around here that we are supposed to use this on. All that we have to do is find it. Oh my God! Did anyone else hear that breathing? Oh no, is the neighbor back again? Oh, please don't let him find us. I don't want to go back in the basement. Calm down, Joe. I am sure that we are going to be fine. Where did the cops that were here go anyway? I could have sworn that they were here only like three minutes ago. This just serves as even more reason to never trust those damn pigs. Those bastards are starting to use straight up magic just to fuck with me. Well, those dickheads can kiss my ass. Nothing is gonna stop me from getting into this dickwad's basement. Be careful, Donald. I'm pretty sure that I heard someone in the other room just a second ago. Oh, I really don't want them to be finding us. I don't know if I could handle being thrown back into the basement again. Joe, we are literally trying to get into the basement at the moment. If the neighbor just threw us into the basement all on his own, then it would actually be straight up helping us. Ooh, wait a second there, Barack. Look, the television is playing. Oh, I love television. Joe, I would like to remind you that we are still not alone in this house. There is still some asshole around here somewhere. Ah! Oh my God, he found us. Quickly, guys, run. I am fucking running, Joe. Shut the fuck up. Oh, thank God, we made it. I really thought that we were boned there for a second. Wait, that isn't the neighbor. Who the hell is that guy supposed to be? I have absolutely no idea, Joe. I think that he kind of looked like one of those police officers that were out the front of the house earlier. Wait, there's a fucking Fed in the house now? Oh, well, isn't that just fucking perfect? Why don't we just go and get Godzilla to guard the damn basement too while we are at it? Oh, but he looks like he is just trying to figure out what is going on as well. Maybe we should go over there and say hello. He might have something good for us. Maybe he'll even be able to help us get into the basement. Not a chance, Joe. There is no way in hell that I am ever going to be caught teaming up with a Fed. We are going to be getting into that basement all on our own. But how are we going to figure out stuff like this on our own? That's what you got me for, Joe. Check this out. What? Barack, are you fucking cheating? Oh, that is complete and total fucking bullshit. You are stealing my victories from me before we even get to them. You're using a fucking guide, aren't you? No, Donald. You just weren't paying attention, obviously. Back on that TV show, there were three letters that were in a different color. If you were paying attention, then you would have instantly put the pieces together and solved the puzzle. Oh, uh, obviously I already realized that, Barack. I just assumed that you hadn't figured it out yet because you are normally so far beneath my intellectual level that it takes you hours to catch up. I obviously figured that out right as we saw it too. Donald, literally no one believes you. Can we just go and check out whatever that X marks the spot thing was? I really want to see if it is some kind of treasure. It will be just like our old pirating days. Joe, the closest that you have ever come to being a pirate involves torrent files. This had better have another key in here. All we need is another two and then we can get into the basement. Holy macaroni. Guys, look, it's a tree house. Oh, I absolutely love tree houses. Wait. How are we supposed to get up there? That, there isn't a ladder here anymore. There is a trampoline over here, though. Maybe we can use it to bounce ourselves on top of the roof, and then we can jump over to the treehouse. Oh, are you sure about this, Barack? This sounds like it is going to be really dangerous. Danger is my middle fucking name, Joe. This shit sounds awesome. Wait, but I thought that your middle name was John. Joe, right now I think that my middle name is something along the lines of shut up, you wrinkly fucking raisin, before I throw you out of this tree. Wait, really? Oh, Donald, I am so sorry to hear that. That must have been a really hard name to have while growing up. 
Your birth certificate must be massive. Joe, you might just be one of the biggest fucking idiots that I have ever met. Holy crap! Are you guys seeing this train? This thing is so cool. Oh, I wish that I could have a train like this over at the White House. This robot thing is fucking awesome, too. This is just like the one that I used to have as a butler. Check it out, guys. It looks like the game is trying to tell us that we need to put the robot into a specific pose and then something will happen. Hopefully this will be the thing that gives us another key. It had better be, Barack. If it doesn't, then I am going to storm into that house and beat the ever-living shit out of that copper until he opens the door for us. Wait, what the fuck is this? Oh, that's it. That copper is going to get a mouthful of my fucking crowbar. Donald, that sounds sus as hell, but calm down anyway. Look, this lets us do something with the train. What? So it just pushes a pair of fucking scissors to the side a little bit? Why couldn't we just take the fucking scissors before that anyway? It is literally just behind a little bit of fucking cardboard. The roof to the damn thing was open for fuck's sake. Donald, calm the hell down. These scissors are probably for that tape that we saw at the top of those stairs. Maybe now if we head inside, then we'll be able to head upstairs. Are you sure, Barack? It really seemed earlier like there was something else being mixed in with that tape. I don't think that some simple scissors are going to be able to cut through that stuff. Joe, I can assure you, they wouldn't be giving us the scissors if we weren't able to use it to cut through that tape. Let's just focus on getting up there without that detective guy finding us. I still think that we should just go and introduce ourselves to him. Aren't we a witness at this point or something? Surely we would be better off if we joined forces. Joe, we are talking about a detective that is so stupid that he still hasn't called for backup after seeing someone flee his crime scene and after having parts of the fucking house start moving around. We would probably have a better companion if we joined forces with a fucking chimpanzee. Ah! Oh my God, he is right there. Quickly, guys, hide. I'm hiding, Joe. I'm hiding. Do you guys think that he'll be able to find us in one of these things? Oh, I really hope not. I don't know if my poor little heart could handle a jump scare right now. I have absolutely no fucking clue what you guys are so scared about. This guy is about as incompetent as they come. I am pretty sure that we could flaunt the neighbor in front of this asshole's face, and he would still not realize that anything is going on. Wait, why is there no back to this cupboard? Oh, wow. Is this a secret room? Oh, that is so unbelievably cool. I wish that I could have a room like this in my home. Joe, this room is not at all cool. This is probably the room that he uses to hide all of the children that he kidnaps. Come to think of it, I can actually 100% see why you would want to have a room like this in your house. You see what I mean, Barack? Oh, it would be so much fun. It wouldn't be fun for the children that you have locked up in here, you sicko. What the hell is this? It's another one of those switch things. Ah! Oh my God, he's in here. Quickly, guys, we need to get the hell out of here. Calm down, Joe. I am pretty sure that we have already lost him. Now, where the hell was this switch slot that we can use this on? Uh, I'm not sure, Barack. Do you think that there is maybe something inside this room? Oh my God, it's a pillow fort. Oh, my life is absolutely complete now. Oh, I am going to have so much fun in here. Joe, it literally isn't physically possible for me to give any less of a crap about your dumbass pillow fort. What the hell even is this damn thing? It looks like half of a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh card. Wait, why are there straight up Minecraft pressure plates in this house? What kind of mumbo jumbo bullshit is this? Oh, I can still hear him sneaking around all over the place. Are you guys absolutely sure that he is not going to hurt us? He seems to be really trying his hardest to find us. Wait, so you're telling me that there are even more documents that you've got stashed away back there? Oh, uh, I mean, my lawyers have advised me to no longer speak of the matter. At least it's a hell of a lot better than what he was doing before. Check it out though, guys. He's even got this cool little secret room inside of the secret room. Oh, I absolutely love this house. I wonder if he would be willing to sell it to me. Joe, if you had a house like this, then I am pretty sure that you would need to be put under 24 seven surveillance. At least we managed to get a battery from here though. I'm not entirely sure what we can use it for. But if it is hidden away, then it has got to be useful for something. Ooh, I think that I can remember where we can put the battery. Oh, look, there's another set of tape that we can cut down. Oh, what a lovely little picture that we have here. 
Let's go and add it to the same picture frame as the other one. What the hell is that picture even supposed to be? It looks like that weird-ass bird thing from the intro and the neighbor are being bros. Why the hell would the neighbor be in cahoots with a fucking furry? Oh my God, he's right there. Uh, what do we do now? Is he going to see us if we stay here? I'm not sure, Joe. If he does see us, then we can just close the cupboard and dip out the other side, though. Let's just wait here for a sec and see if he goes away. Oh, it looks like you were right, Barack. He slipped off and was none the wiser to our awesome little hiding spot. You guys are very welcome. Donald, what the fuck are you talking about? You literally didn't even do anything. We snuck past him because of my epic ninja moves. So I say once again, you guys are very welcome. Holy freaking crap. It's a toy car. Oh, this is so much fun. I wish that all games that we play could be more like this one. Joe, shut up for a second. I'm pretty sure that I just heard the detective getting close. Maybe he heard the toy car or something. Oh, but I really want to be playing with the toy car, Barack. Play with the toy car another time, you aging fossil. At least the damn thing gave us another key. Now all we need is one more and we can finally get down into that basement. How the hell are we going to find another key, though? It feels like we have already done absolutely everything around here. I am pretty sure that we'll end up getting one if we manage to finish off that picture thing. I don't see any other reason why they would make it have so many pieces. Wait, do you guys hear that? I think that the detective has come back here again. Oh yeah? And what clued you into that, Joe? Was it the massive fucking stinger that just played? Or was it the fact that he is literally right fucking there? How often is this dude going to be going back and forth between rooms anyway? I don't think that I have ever seen anyone pace harder than this in my entire life. Maybe he is just really good at his job and is just always finding more evidence. Joe, if he was finding more evidence every single time that he walked back into the room, then that doesn't mean he is good at his job. That means that he is fucking terrible at it. If he keeps missing evidence so much that he finds more every single time that he walks back into the room, then it just goes to prove what I was saying earlier about him not knowing how to do absolutely fucking anything. Oh, now that just sounds mean, Donald. Why don't we just go over there and talk to the guy? I am sure that if we gave him a real chance, then we would be able to see that he is actually a really good detective. Who knows? Maybe he might even end up being a really sweet guy. Joe, there is absolutely no fucking way that I just heard you start simping for the hello neighbor detective. I'm just saying that maybe we should give him a chance, you know? Joe, there is absolutely zero fucking chance that I am going to spend my day sitting here and watching you try and fail to flirt with a fucking fed that is trying to catch us. We are getting into that damn basement and we are getting the hell out of here. I might even make sure to leave this copper in the fucking dust as we leave. Donald, you are really mean, you know that? Don't care, plus didn't ask. Let's just put this weight on that pressure plate and grab whatever it is that's inside that cupboard. Jeez, this really is just like a Minecraft redstone tutorial. Oh, I always hated those things. The way that all of that dust glows just makes me so confused. And then they start doing their whole repeating themselves thing. And I am just completely lost by that point. Joe, when you say repeating, do you mean like the block? Wait, blocks can repeat themselves. I thought that Minecraft blocks couldn't talk. Are you telling me that the entire time I was mining cobblestone, I could have had a conversation partner? Joe, I am seriously just starting to think that you are beyond saving at this point. Oh, well, now I'm just confused. Can they talk or not? You guys are seriously giving me some mixed messages here. I don't even know what to be believing at this point. Don't worry, Joe. Let's just grab the last piece of the photo now that the detective is out of the way. I'm willing to bet that once we get this, then we will get the last key that we need to get into the basement. Thank fucking God, by the way. I can't wait to finally get away from these filthy pigs. He has been seriously annoying ever since we got upstairs. Oh, are we really going to be leaving him behind now? Oh, I am going to miss you, Mr. Detective Man. Maybe I should leave him my phone number or something. Aha, I knew it. All right, boys, let's get into that basement and get the ever-living fuck out of here. As much as I hate to agree with Donald, this cop has been seriously annoying ever since we got upstairs. Oh, well, at least we're going to be able to save the child again. Don't you worry, little Mr. Man. Joey boy is coming. Joe, if you ever say that you are coming in literally any context ever again, then I will actually come over to your house and bang your wife in front of you. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. Oh my God, we finally made it to the basement. 
Wait, what the hell? Why is this just a normal ass basement? There has to be some kind of bullshit tactics going on here. There is no way that he would lock his basement with four different locks if there was absolutely nothing shady going on down here. The room that has all of the secret documents that the government hasn't found yet only has two. Wait, but where did the little guy go? Ooh, look, it's a newspaper. Oh, I wonder what it says. Closing the museum. Why is it all spelt so dang weird? Keys stolen? What on earth does that even mean? Ooh, guys, look, it's the key to go outside. Oh, I am such a genius sometimes. Joe, the key was literally right in front of you, but I cannot be bothered to fight you on it at the moment. Let's just get the hell out of here already. I have absolutely no idea what we are supposed to be doing now that the basement is completely empty. Ooh, hey, look, it's a paper airplane. Oh, I absolutely love these things. Help me, who needs helping? Is it the little boy? Oh, don't you worry, little man. Big boy Joey is on his way. At least he said on his way and not coming this time. What the hell is going on with all of these paper airplanes anyway? How the hell is someone throwing them with this much accuracy? Maybe they just have a lot of paper to spare, Donald. From the looks of things, at least a forest worth of spare paper. Are we sure that we want to be following this anyway? I know that the original paper airplane said help me and everything. But there is no way that all of these paper airplanes can just suddenly appear all across a large street without there being some kind of supernatural bullshit going on. This has to be some kind of trap. Sumium, what the hell is a sumium? Joe, you fucking idiot. It is obviously trying to say museum. We literally saw it being spelt out like that earlier. Now let's just go up there and get inside already. I want to meet the absolute fucking sharpshooter that managed to throw that many paper airplanes all of the way from over here. Oh, are we absolutely sure that we want to be going in here? This place looks seriously creepy. It's giving me nothing but the heebie-jeebies. Why does this room remind me a shit ton of that episode in The Simpsons where Bart has to work in a burlesque house? I swear this reception is like a one-to-one -one copy of that. Ooh, look, that looks like the shovel from earlier. The one that the neighbor bonked us on the head with. Do you guys think that he might be here? Whoa, what the hell is going on? Have we been drugged or something? Wait, we're back here again? What the hell just happened? How the fuck did we get brought all the way across town like that? I'm not sure, Donald, but it is starting to scare me. Is there some kind of ghost story going on here? Because I really do not like ghosts. Well, that is kind of surprising, considering that it won't be long before you become one yourself. Ah! Oh my God, the door is moving. Oh my God, guys, we're so boned. Please, Mr. Birdman, please don't hurt me. Just grab the fucking torch already. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my poor little heart. I think that I might have just had an accident. Joe, did you forget to put your cork in again? It's just so gosh darn uncomfortable, Barack. Well, that is how you end up with brown seats, Joe. Check it out, though. It looks like we need to head to some kind of cafe next. Whoever the owner of this cafe is, isn't anywhere near ready for the epic ninja moves of the Big D Trump. Well, first we are going to need to find the dang place. That cafe could be literally anywhere around this town. How the hell are we supposed to find it? Let's just go looking around. Surely there's got to be such a nice little cafe around here somewhere. Oh, I bet that it is absolutely beautiful. It is right here, you fucking idiots. I am going to show this dumbass little coffee shop owner why you should never be messing with the president of the United fucking States. Oh, but this place looks so gosh darn lovely, Donald. Maybe we could just sit here and order a coffee or something first. The location is just so lovely. Let's just head inside and go up to the counter before we start making our judgments of the place. Oh, hello, Miss Lady. We're new here. What do you recommend on the menu? Joe, it isn't even physically possible for me to give less of a shit about this darn place. This bitch looks like she is the child of the fucking Michelin man. Let's teach this cow a lesson about why you should never underestimate the president of the United fucking States. Donald, I think that you meant to say former president of the United States. Why are there so many buttons missing on the register anyway? I think that it has something to do with the amount that croissant weighs in the background picture. I guess that we have got to go out and find all four of the extra keys for the register before we can move on then. Oh, I don't think that I can control myself any longer. 
Come here, Miss Lady. I absolutely have to just get a better look at you. Jesus fucking Christ, Joe, seriously? Ooh, look, there's a key in her waistband. You see, guys? Obviously, I was just trying to get that key the whole time. There were absolutely no other motives for that, I swear. Joe, you're a creepy bastard, but I'm absolutely okay with it because it helped us get a little closer to showing this bitch what for. How the hell are we going to get past her without her seeing from here, though? Well, it looks to me like you just kind of answered your own question there, Donald. I'm willing to bet that there is something good for us to find in here. Look, it even has the exact key slot for the one that we just found. Surely there's something good for us in here. Hell yeah, give us all of those keys. Wait, it's just fucking pastries? Oh, this is total bullshit. Oh, well, maybe we can make something useful out of these pastries, Donald. If we had to go reaching into that lady's chocolate star fish to get this key, then there must be some use to it. Oh my God, it's a kitty cat. Oh, here you go, little kitty. You can have this fish thingy. Oh, well, isn't that just perfect? So now we don't even have the pastry anymore. Wait, I think that I see one of the register keys on the cat bed. Maybe we can grab it now. Oh, hell yeah. You see, guys, I was planning that from the start. You guys really should learn to trust my instincts a little more, you know? Joe, if we tried trusting your instincts at all, then we would probably end up dead in a ditch somewhere after only like two hours. We are going to continue doing what we have always been doing and do exactly what I think is right, because I am literally always correct. Donald, stop stroking your own ego for five seconds. Look, we have already got one of the keys locked in there. All we need to do is do that three more times and we can keep moving forward. This is going to be a piece of cake. Was, was that a pastry pun? Of course it was, Joe. Now let's get our asses back in there. I want to try and see what we can find if we go up that ladder that's out front. There has got to be a whole bunch of stuff up there. Oh, do you think that her bedroom is up here? Do you guys want to try and do a panty raid? Joe, you are seriously fucking disgusting. We are here for the register keys, remember? That is the only thing that we are going to be taking from this place. There is no way that I am going to be letting you pull any deranged shit while we are up here. Well, you say that now, Barack, but we did just kind of watch him try to pull something out of her ass earlier. I feel like the line for borderline criminal acts here has kind of already been crossed. No, Donald, I swear that I knew that the key was in her waistband the whole time. I absolutely swear that I wasn't thinking of doing anything weird back there. You can say that as much as you want, Joe, but I don't think that there is anyone here that is actually going to believe you. What the hell is this thing, anyway? It looks like the hand to a clock. That's because it is one, Barack. You can thank my amazing genius for that one later. For now, it looks like we have got to try and sync up the times between the digital clock and this one. Uh, does anyone know how these kinds of clocks work? Watch and learn, Donald. We have just got to put the small one over to the 10. And then we have just got to wrap the big one back around again and put him at the halfway point. Oh, well, obviously I knew that, Joe. Clearly, I was just trying to see if there was a little bit more than that since this would be such an easy puzzle. Wait, why isn't it working? You had it set at the wrong time, you dumbass. That's one more key out of the way now, though. All we need is two more now, and we can keep moving forward. Now, where the hell are the other ones going to be? Maybe this plant has got something to do with it. Ooh, I can see another one of the keys on its stem. The water is making it regrow too fast, though. Ah! Oh my God, she found us. I'm sorry for grabbing your ass, Miss Lady. Please don't hurt me. Well, at least you were finally willing to admit that you weren't just going for the key. All right, well, let's just go and get back up there. We gotta figure out how we are gonna turn off that water if we wanna to get to the next key. I think that valve that we picked up earlier will probably have something to do with it. Oh, but how are we gonna get past Miss Lady now that she's on the top floor? I really don't wanna see what she's gonna to do to us because of that whole key in the waistband incident. Well, let's just go and have a look through the window. Maybe we can see where she is and avoid her that way. Ha! Look at this dumbass bitch. She is literally staring right at us, and she is too stupid to even realize. Oh, give her a little more credit than that, Donald. Maybe she is just too busy thinking about her business to be noticing what is outside her window. Surely you can respect someone that is all about business, right, Donald? The key factor in that, though, Joe, is that she is a woman. Donald, you sexist bastard. Women can be just as good business owners as men. 
How about we just focus on actually getting inside and getting the last two keys rather than trying to say anything that is going to get us canceled? Donald, are you willing to behave for at least like another five minutes? I'm not sure why you're telling me to behave right now, Barack. Joe was the one that has been frothing at the mouth over this woman since we fucking got here. Whatever, though, look, that is probably going to be what turns off the water outside. Let's just go and get that key already. Oh, wow. The third key already? Oh, this is looking to be so much easier than the neighbor's house. At this rate, the neighbor isn't even going to stand a chance. Well, let's try not to get too carried away, Joe. We have still got one more to go yet. And I have absolutely no fucking clue where this last one is going to be. It feels like we have already searched everywhere around here. The only place left is the kitchen, but the hat is where that lady is guarding 24-7. Well, there is still that locked book upstairs. Maybe there is a key around here for it. Joe, for the love of God, do not go searching for this key inside of the lady's asshole this time. It is probably inside of the kitchen somewhere. Let's just have a quick look around and see if we can find it. I don't think that she is down here at the moment anyway. Well, you had better be right about that, Barack. So far, we are on an absolutely perfect run, and I don't intend to screw that up because of this bitch. Wait, do you guys see that? It looks like there is a block of ice in the freezer that has a key inside. I am willing to bet that this is the key to the book upstairs. Let's put this shit in the fireplace and let it melt. Oh, well, we'd better grab an extinguisher in case it all goes wrong. I don't want to burn down this lady's house on accident. Joe, we are literally burning ice. How in the actual fuck are we going to end up burning down this bitch's house by putting fucking ice in the fireplace? Well, I don't know, Donald, but I am just concerned for her sake is all. I felt like she has already gone through enough for one day, don't you think? Joe, you have been the one to put her through the most, to be honest. Not only that, but I don't think that there is any possible way that we could risk burning her house down just by melting ice. This fire extinguisher should come in pretty handy for when we are trying to get the key out of the oven, though. I'm not sure if the game will let us grab the key while it is still on the fire. Aha! You see, Donald? I told you that it would be a good idea to grab the fire extinguisher. It is just like I was telling you earlier. You should try listening to my instincts a little bit more. Joe, there is no chance in hell that I am ever going to be caught listening to your instincts. That shit will have me dead in a ditch in seconds. Let's just get in there and grab the fucking key already. Oh no, I think that we might have excited the extinguisher a little too much. It's spreading its white goo all over the place. Joe, can you please stop talking before I end up projectile vomiting all over the place? Can that bitch just go upstairs already? I just want to grab the key and get back up to the museum so that we can figure out whatever the fuck is actually going on here. I thought you said that it was an obvious trap, Barack. Are you still worried about that? Or have you finally come to accept that all of my epic ninja moves are going to be what keep us safe? Donald, your so-called epic ninja moves look more like Ricky Burick than any kind of Bruce Lee level shit. Look, we've got the key now. Let's just get the hell out of here and get upstairs so that we can grab the last key for the register and get that ever-living fuck out of here. Oh, man. I am really going to miss this cafe when we leave. Do you guys think that we could come back here after we're done with the game and try out what their pastries taste like? I would absolutely love to sit here and enjoy this spot with a nice coffee and some cake. Joe, considering everything that you've done to this poor woman, I think that you have had more than enough cake for one day. Let's just get this last key and then get the hell out of here. I am so sick of having to hold Joe back by the legs as he tries his absolute hardest to get a piece of this woman. Finally, there it is. All right, let's go and put this in the register downstairs and get whatever it is that's inside of there. This had better be worth it. I swear to God, if we open this thing up and it just ends up being something dumb like a pair of scissors again. Donald, they obviously wouldn't send us on such a large goose chase if it didn't have something very significant behind it. Let's just put the code in real quick. It looks like it should be 1576. Oh, I never have been all that good with these computer type things. Is that right? Did I do it? Yes, Joe, you did it. What the hell even is this thing anyway? I think that it might be the key to the museum. I'm assuming that we're gonna need to head back over there now. Hopefully this time we won't end up getting roofied as soon as we walk through the door. Oh man, why did it all go so quiet all of a sudden? Oh, this is really starting to give me the creeps. Joe, I can't remember the last time that being outside in the dark didn't give you the creeps. 
What do you even think is going to end up happening? Are you scared that the big bad copper is going to jump out of nowhere and get us or something? No, Donald. That is kind of what I am hoping for, if I'm being entirely honest. I am way more scared of whatever that creepy bird thing was. We still don't really know what the hell was going on with that thing. Well, we're back at the burlesque house now. Let's go ahead and open this shit up already. Hopefully we won't end up getting drugged at the end of this again. Oh boy, I'm so nervous now. I have absolutely no idea. Ah! Oh my God, it's the neighbor. Quickly guys, run. Please don't let him get to me. Calm down, Joe, we are fine. This is no different to everything that we have been doing for the past 40 minutes. Let's just get back in there and start trying to figure out whatever the hell it is that we need to be doing. Screw that. We have got the neighbor right where we want him now. We've already got two really good weapons. We've got both a crowbar and a pair of scissors. Let's just run over there and beat the ever-living shit out of him already. This section is going to be a hell of a lot easier if the neighbor is dead in a pile on the floor. Donald, didn't your mother ever tell you that violence is never the answer? If we go using violence to solve our problem at this point, then we are absolutely no better than he is. We have to beat him at his own game and rescue the child without having to resort to something so primitive. How about you resort to my fucking nutsack, Joe? If your goal is to rescue the child, then there is not going to be a better method of doing so than to rip him from the neighbor's cold, dead hands. Donald, shut the fuck up about the overkill option. It isn't going to be very fun or very moral to get through this game by just killing everyone that poses an obstacle to us. Let's just try and get past the neighbor for now. How the hell do you expect us to make it past him right now, though? He is staying in the middle of that fucking room and isn't moving whatsoever. We've just got to sneak past him, Donald. If we go while he is on the chair, then we should be able to sneak behind him and head further into the mansion. Well, that sure does seem to be going pretty well for you so far now, doesn't it, Barack? So far, we have probably spent the last two minutes just sat in the fucking lobby, trying to step even just a couple inches through the doors without getting caught. Just you watch, Donald. This time, we are going to get... Uh, what is it that we are trying to get in here for again? That map that we put the house onto looked like it had another two slots that needed to be filled. I am willing to bet that we need to grab the other two houses and put them onto their slots on the map. After that, I am assuming that something is going to happen. Well, that sure does sound like a plan to me, Barack. I think that I saw another one of those houses underneath the cobwebs just to the right of the door. Maybe if we're sneaky, then we can grab that one real quick. And then we would only have one more house to get. You guys had better not go getting us caught. If you guys mess up this perfect run, then I am going to be absolutely fucking furious. Calm down, Donald, we are going to be fine. Of all people, I really would have thought you especially would have been able to recognize that we would have had to take a risk at some point sooner or later. Yeah, Donald, look, we are going to be fine. Ah! Oh my God, please don't hurt me, Mr. Neighbor, I'm sorry. Oh, for fuck's sake, what did I just fucking say? You ruined my perfect run, you assholes. This is why mom doesn't fucking love you. Chill the hell out, Donald, we are still fine. Look, we've got the house now. How about you stop crying over spilt milk like a child and just help us figure out where the last house is going to be? How about you start crying about my balls in your mouth, you asshole? The last house is pretty obviously going to be somewhere on the left side of the entrance anyway. If this one was on the right and the neighbor is acting as a basically unescapable guard, then the other house is probably going to end up being just on the other side of the room to it. OK, well, let's just get in there and try to find it then. We have just got to wait until he sits down and then we can start sneaking past him from behind. Oh man, this all sounds really scary. I am still recovering from that jump scare if I am being completely honest. Can we just stop for a second and take a quick breather? It feels like my heart is going to give out. Joe, that is just tempting me to go and get jump scared over and over again. Look, the neighbor doesn't even know we're here. You sure about that, Donald? Because he sure as fuck seems to know that we are here now. Oh, I'm so scared right now. I really hope that he isn't able to follow us in here. I've already had enough accidents this game. My cleaning lady is threatening to quit because of stuff like this, you know? Don't worry, Joe. Look, this guy's a total fucking idiot. He doesn't even know how to duck down. I don't even know why they bothered trying to make this guy seem so threatening if all we have to do is get into a position that is mildly difficult to get to and he completely folds. All right, well, now we just have to wait for him to go back to his chair 
and we can start looking around for the last house again. Can he please just fuck off already? I swear that half of this game so far has just been sitting in a hidden spot, waiting for whoever we're hiding from to just go away and do something else already. Well, it looks like he has gone away now. I think that it might be safe for us to go over and grab the last house. We have just got the... Ah! Oh my God, please don't hurt me, Mr. Neighbor Man. We're fine, Joe, calm down. This dude is starting to get seriously fucking annoying, though. Can he please just fuck off to another room and let us do our thing? It feels like we have just been waiting for a good opportunity to make a move for like a solid five minutes at this point. I'm just saying that the option of caving his head in with the crowbar is still very viable. It would have saved us a whole lot of time by this point if we had just taken that option from the very beginning. Donald, can you shut the fuck up about the damn murder thing already? We get it. You're a psychopath. But that doesn't mean that we are going to fucking murder a dude just so that we can have a mildly easier time when trying to steal his shit. You're lost, Barack. For your sake, I hope that you are ready to spend another 10 minutes watching him pace back and forth before we actually end up getting an opportunity to go in there and start making some progress. That is what you think, Donald. Just you watch. He is going to head over to his chair right now. And then we are going to head in and get that house without having to resort to violence. Well, it is going to be absolutely hilarious watching you try for it, at least. For now, though, I am just going to watch you fail over and over again until you eventually admit that I am right. And we end up pulling a pumped-up kicks on this suburban asshole. Well, that is a really cool story, Donald. But there is just one little problem with it in that we have already gotten the fucking house now. Now all that we have to do is put this on the map and we're good. You see, Donald? I told you that we didn't need to use any kind of violence to get past this section. Now we have managed to get everything that we needed. And we didn't have to stoop to the neighbor's level in order to get it. Now let's head inside and put this house on the map already. Well, this had better be worth it. After well over five minutes of going back and forth in the same spot, I feel like I am ready to be put in a straight jacket. Wait, are you seriously gonna fucking tell me that we did all of that just for a fucking key? Oh, this is complete and total bullshit. If this game doesn't want me to beat the shit out of the neighbor, then it is doing a pretty bad job of making me not want to. I am just remembering now that we left the scissors over in the main room, too. We're gonna have to grab them before we can get rid of those cobwebs. Oh, man. He is right there. Please don't let him get us again. I really don't want to be shouted at by my cleaning lady again. Don't worry, Joe. We have just got to wait until he turns his back to us. And then we can head in there, grab the scissors, and get the hell out of there. It seems like once we get into that other section of the house, then there isn't any way for the neighbor to get to us. Well, I sure do hope that you're right on that one, Barack. I don't know if my poor little stomach could survive another jump scare. Well, we have got the scissors now. Let's just get back to that other section of the house. And then we can grab whatever that fucking blue thing was underneath all of those cobwebs. First, we have got to make sure that the neighbor doesn't catch us on our way out, Donald. Right now, he's just standing there, menacingly. Well, let's just head around the other way then, Barack. This dumbass has the same object permanence as a fucking infant. So long as we just leave his line of sight for a second, he completely forgets that we even exist. Awesome, check it out. We have got the, uh, what the hell even is this thing? It looks like some kind of lamp, Joe. There's another one just like it that's up against the wall over here. Maybe something will happen if we put the lamp on the wall next to it. What the hell is that painting supposed to be about anyway? Is that some kind of cult bullshit? Is that what the bird thing was earlier? Is the neighbor a fucking cult leader? Oh, I really hope not, Donald. I don't want to get myself involved in all of that spooky cult stuff. All of those weird people with masks on just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Wait, is that another key? What is there left to open? Are you gonna tell me that after all that there is still going to be another section where we need to gather four keys? I am just saying that there is still nothing stopping us from killing the neighbor right now. That is honestly sounding more and more like the only option at the moment. No way, Barack. We are doing this the right way. Who knows? Maybe the rest of the keys will end up being really easy to find. Well, they had fucking better be. I don't want to have to spend another 10 minutes walking back and forth the same fucking spot just so that we can make the tiniest bit of progress. 
Wait, was this our car? How the hell did he manage to drag a crash car all the way across town? Why has he even tried to keep a crash car? I have absolutely no idea, Barack, but it is only making me more and more scared of the guy. If he is strong enough to pull a whole car across town quick enough for people to not notice, then what does that mean he's going to be able to do if he manages to get a hold of us? Oh, guys, I really don't like where this game is going. Why don't we ever play happy games where good things happen? Ah! Oh my God, he's coming. Run! I'm fucking running, Joe. Can you just shut the fuck up already? Joe, wasn't it you that asked us to play this game anyway? Why are you complaining about not wanting to play scary games if you were the one that was excited to play it? Because I wasn't expecting it to be this scary, Barack. I was hoping that we were just going to end up getting into the basement, rescue the child, and then go and eat ice cream somewhere with a beautiful view. Maybe it could have even been down by that cafe with the nice lady running it. Yeah! Oh my God, he found us again. Quickly, guys, we need to get the hell out of here. Chill out, Joe. This isn't even a problem when you have my epic ninja moves. Check it out. He doesn't even know what to make of what just happened. I just broke that man's ankles, legs, and will to live. Well, can we just put the head on the dang fish and then get away from him? I really don't like being put in these kind of stressful situations. Hang on for a second, Joe. I'm not done with this clown yet. Just watch. He doesn't even know what to make of it. And you guys didn't believe that I had awesome ninja moves. It's honestly just laughable. Donald, if your idea of ninja moves is to run around in a fucking circle, then I can start to see why you think that you are some kind of Bruce Lee looking motherfucker. Where the hell are we supposed to go now anyway? We've still got that stupid fucking Freddy Fazbear mask to find. Well, it's probably upstairs, right? Maybe if we put the mask on, then he won't be able to see us anymore. That's what it's like in the games, right? That's what the mask is. That's what the point of the mask is. Donald, don't go encouraging him. Joe, the mask only makes you invisible in the five nights at Freddy's games because they are all animatronics. The neighbor is a real fucking person and he'll be able to see us even if we have a mask on. Let's just get upstairs and see if we can find that last mask so that we can finally get the hell out of this dumbass mansion. Oh, but where has the neighbor gone? I could have sworn that he was around here somewhere. Do you guys think that he has the power to teleport because of all of that cult stuff? That sure would explain how he was able to get the car over here so quickly. Joe, if that asshole was able to teleport, then he wouldn't have let me break his fucking ankles in such a humiliating way as I did. He's probably just off being an idiot somewhere else. Wait, guys, look, it's a sweet little family picture. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, I love family photos so much. Wait, this guy had kids? What the hell happened to them then? Something tells me that this isn't actually his kid, that maybe on account of the fact that his shirt says fucking help me though. This guy is a seriously bad kidnapper though. Who lets their hostage wear a shirt that says fucking help me? That is just the absolute top tier of incompetence. Wait, what just happened? Was any of that even real? Oh, I am so confused now. I don't even know what to believe anymore. Obviously it was all a dream, Joe. I have absolutely no clue how we got from the mansion to here. But at the very least, it is pretty clear that we need to head to that creepy house from earlier next. Oh man, are you sure? I really don't want to be going over there. The neighbor's mansion was creepy enough for me. I don't think that I could handle being around that place. It looks like something out of a horror movie. Joe, stop being such a scaredy cat. I must admit, though, all of these stop signs might be giving me a small amount of second thoughts. Yeah, I have to admit, it really is starting to seem like we are walking straight into a trap. Don't worry, Barack. As long as I have all of my weapons on my side, then I am ready for anything. A trap that you know is coming isn't a trap. It is a face-off. Donald, if you ever reference the fucking MCU ever again, then I will actually drone strike everything that you have ever loved right in front of you. Why does this place remind me so much of the house from the first game? Do you guys think that this could possibly be the house from that game? Oh man, that only makes this even scarier. Joe, this looks literally fucking nothing like the house from the first game. Are you off your meds or something? How the hell could you think that this looks anything like the original house? This one doesn't even have the extremely fucking awesome train going all around it. Didn't the train having version of the house only exist in the main character's dream? 
I am pretty sure that in the real world, the house still looked completely normal. Even with that though, this house still looks absolutely nothing like the original house anyway. I think that this entire town is just in a completely different area than the first game. Oh crap, he saw us, Ron! Wait, what the hell was that pop that I just heard? Did this bastard just fucking shoot at me? Oh, that is it. He has fired the first shot now. It is completely legal for me to kill him in self-defense. Donald, can you stop trying to fucking kill everyone? We have already managed to make it through three different sections of the game without having to use any physical force. Let's just keep it that way. Oh man, this place is really creepy. What are we looking for in here again? Ah! Oh my God, he found us. Quickly guys, we need to get the hell out of here. It's fine, Joe. We're already outside. They don't follow you. Don't follow us outside? Well, it sure as fuck doesn't look that way, Barack. It looks a hell of a lot to me like that old bastard is locked, loaded, and ready to pop a fucking cap in our asses. Oh, please, Mr. Old Man, not my ass. I love my ass. Please don't shoot it. Joe, when he said pop a cap in our asses, he didn't literally mean in our asses. He was saying that the guy is just going to shoot us in general. So, so my ass isn't going to get shot? Oh, thank God. You guys had me really worried for a second there. You know, you should really try to be a bit clearer with how you word these kinds of things. Joe, can you shut the fuck up about your ass already? I am way more concerned with making sure that we don't get fucking executed at the moment. Yeah, I hate to agree with Donald here, but we have kind of got to take care of the priorities first, Joe. Not getting shot is the number one priority in just about every single situation imaginable. The number two priority right now is just trying to figure out whatever the fuck it is that we are actually trying to find at the moment. Well, we found that key in the pillow earlier, right? Maybe we have just got to find three more keys before we're able to get something that's gonna help us. Oh, I really hope that we get this guy's gun. I would absolutely fucking love to roll up to the museum strapped up like a motherfucker and blast that dumbass neighbor all the way to next Sunday. I would make absolute Swiss fucking cheese out of that asshole if I had the chance. I just want to be able to find wherever that child is being kept, Donald. I just hope that whatever we find in here helps us save him. Ah! Oh my God, I'm sorry, Mr. Old Man. Please don't hurt my ass. Joe, I really do not know how you are getting scared by those jump scares so much. They literally don't even end up doing anything. The only thing that getting caught even means is that we have to walk for five seconds to get back to the house. But they look really disappointed with me whenever they catch me, Donald. I really hate it when people make me feel like I've done something wrong. It just takes me right back to the days where I was a little kid getting caught by the police for doing all of that vandalism. Wait, vandalism? Joe, are you seriously trying to say that you were a delinquent when you were young? I'm sorry, but I seriously just do not at all believe that you would go around being a rebel as a kid. That just doesn't seem like something that could be real. Well, whether you believe it or not, Barack, it is something that happened. I just don't like to talk about it very much because I renounced those days ever since I first got hold of the Biden blast. My training showed me the error of my ways, and I have never looked back since. Joe, that is total cap. But I don't actually care about anything that you say enough to actually try and call you out on it. I just want to do whatever the puzzle in this place is so that I can get this bastard's gun and take it over to the museum so that I can blast several holes straight through the neighbor. What the hell is going on with the ticking? Do you guys think that might have something to do with the skull upstairs with the antlers on it? It's the only other thing in the house that I can think of that also has those same glowing eyes that were on the pig's face. I'm not sure, Barack, but considering that the guy's gun has been sticking through the door for the past 15 seconds, I'm not entirely sure if we'll be able to get up there in time. Maybe we'll be able to find something over here instead. Well, it's not like we have anything to lose. I still don't really even know what it is that we are even looking for. Is it like a rite of passage in this town to have a bathroom that looks like it comes out of a fucking horror movie? Check it out, though. We got some kind of letter. I wonder what the hell this could be for. Oh, oh, it looks like one of the fridge magnets that I have over at my house. Maybe something will happen if we go over and try to use it on the fridge. Well, first, we have got to wait for that old bastard to actually leave us alone. Doesn't this old geezer have a book to read or something? Or at the very least, some grandkids to call or some shit? Why can't he just fuck off already and let us do our thing? Well, at least we know now that we have to put four magnets on the fridge. Maybe that is what we have got to do here. 
Well, that is all good to talk about, but it's going to end up being pretty fucking hard to do that with the amount of bullets that this old fuck is putting into us at the moment. Let's just try and see if we can lose him upstairs. This old guy is seriously fucking persistent. Can't he just go and find some corner to have a heart attack in and keel over already? Oh, well, that is a little bit mean, Donald. I don't think that he deserved... Ah! Oh, my God, get off me, you balding fuck. Go and die already. Well, that didn't last very long. How the hell did Grandpa even catch us? That was clearly rigged. He shouldn't have been able to keep up with me, given that I am the most greatest and humblest person alive in this planet. It's clearly not rigged Donald. And how can you even say those things without cringing at yourself? Like, can you stop speaking and listen to yourself for once? And we really just have to be careful. Yeah, I totally agree as the President of the United States. With the power vested upon me, I declare that the statements that Donald has said is definitely cringe. And time to give this shit another go. Please do be careful, though. Yeah, shut up and don't you dare ever forget that you only became the president because I let you win that presidential election. I have no other way of losing than that particular reason. And it was also rigged. It was clearly not rigged, Donald. I guess people just love a person who is super passionate about ice creams, I guess. Maybe you should be an ice cream lover, too, instead of McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, hell no. Not in a million years. McDonald's all the way. Although their Grimace Shake trend has died off now, I still drink it from time to time. Not that I expect you to understand the greatest person in the world's tastes. We all know you have poor taste in food, Donald. And McDonald's is not even yours, though your name is in it. And what the hell do we do now? What do I use this damn shovel for? Wait, that hay bale was giving us an invitation to jump off to. We should have been able to take the leap of faith, but no, since we're not the assassins from the Assassin's Creed, we'd be just breaking our bones for nothing. Wait, what game are you talking about? Is this another Minecraft or Nintendo game reference that I don't know shit about? Come on, guys. You really have to stop doing this. Stop making me feel dumb. I mean, you should already know that by now, Joe. Just search it up on your teleprompter and you'll know what we're talking about. And there, I dug up this grave and it gave us a safe with a combination. Wait, what? What was that game you guys were talking about again? Ass, ass creeds? Uh, um, fuck it, I kind of forgot already. Let's just find the combination of that safe. Might have some treasure in it, too. We're back inside this house again. I hope Grandpa does not come down and catch us again. And this bear has a lever on it. Don't mind if I pull it. What does that do? Time to find out. Shit, shit, I just saw him. Oh, fuck, he's already up here. How the hell is that even possible? Shit, 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 he's gonna get us. We have to get out of here or he'll probably make us a bear statue. But a human this time. Fuck, go, go, go. What do you think I've been doing, Sleepy Joe? Shit, he always shoots us with them darts. We have to get out of here like fast, and how is that even possible? Are we just gonna get slowed by that thing, repeatedly? That's basically a cheat code activated or a bug abuse that can be reported to a game dev. Shit, we have to juke the hell out of him right here and now and leave it to me, or we'll be so screwed. Yeah, yeah, leave it to you, huh? Fuck, let's just hide here and wait for him to chill the fuck down and have him stroll around the place. Yeah, forget about us, Grandpa. We're definitely not inside your house, hiding inside your closets. Why did you even have to say that, Joe? Now he'll definitely know that we're here because you'd probably end up jinxing us. Or not. Or no, yeah, he's definitely still here because of the damn music. We have to chill. Yeah, he's still definitely aggroed right now because of the music. Oh, wait. I have an idea. What if we go here and here, and then maybe we can hide up here? Genius, haha. -ha. And this is why I should really become the president. Really, Donald? You really think that the people would base their votes on how good the president is in playing a kid's video game? Come on, bro. They're not as stupid as Joe right there. Hey, why don't you both shut the fuck up before I put you in jail for the reason of bad-mouthing your damn president, for being disrespectful? You gotta stop talking like I'm not here before I bait the shit out of you guys. Whoa, whoa, so scary, Mr. Joey. You really have to stop acting like a brave man, Joe, because no one is gonna believe that shit. I am the alpha in this house. You're always going to be a beta. We all know you're scared of cockroaches. Hey, who the hell said that I am scared of cockroaches? Because I definitely am not. Oh, shit. Is that a cockroach? Ah! Did you hire this guy, Donald? And oh, great, I fell too. Shit, we have to get the hell out of here. How is Grandpa even where we are? Like, how the hell is that possible? Does he have some kind of teleport ability, or is this NPC a player? He was clearly inside before. Yeah, something is clearly wrong with this guy. Like, how the hell is he always where the hell we are? Like that time we fell from the window, then bang. He's already behind us, shooting us, slowing us down. 
rigged. Yeah, he's just way too fast. What even is he, the Fast and Furious or the Flash? Shit. The important thing is that we have to check his refrigerator for ice creams. That's the main quest. Really, none? Too bad, Sleepy Joe. The only thing you got out of there was that damn reindeer horns that usually used as a holiday decoration in the damn living room. Give up on your dreams, Joe. No way, Jose. Ice cream for life and I ain't giving up on that shit. And what is up with my luck today? Like I didn't even get to have my ice creams and I had myself stuck in a trap? Really? Ha ha. That was way too funny, Joe. And yeah, this grandpa is really smart. It's playing like it's the damn granny game all over again. Laying some traps around and chasing us all the time. And I found where we need to put that thing. And in return, we got a piece of paper? Where do we even use this thing? Oh wait, maybe on this bulletin board that this house has? Yeah, yeah, it kind of fits. Oh wait, I think it's a puzzle, so we need three more? What, really three more? Getting one was already hard enough, and why the hell can't I pin this paper? Oh shit, ah, we have to get out of here. He's already unto us again. How is that even possible? This guy must have a heartbeat fucking sensor like the ones in the Call of Duty, bro, because I swear to God, he's always up in our asses. He surely have something on us because this just makes no sense. Yeah, agreed, and what the hell is he even shooting us with? Like he's always able to slow us the freak down. How the heck is that even fair? This grandpa really knows how to chase someone down. He even does a U-turn on us while chasing us? Really, is this guy Mr. Einstein or something, bro? This NPC is smarter than Joe, I'm very convinced, but wait, what the hell is this? A key? I was gonna try and hide here, but hell yeah. Don't you dare try and diss me again, you orange-looking clown. You should just shut up and listen. Where the hell do we even use this key for? This better be for a safe full of ice creams. Shit, he's down here in the living room, boys. And lower your damn mouth, Joe. He'll fucking hear you. Just stay low and quiet and then wait for the chance. We have to keep our eyes peeled and find where we have to use this key. Ah, shit, that scared the hell out of me. How the hell did he even know that we were on the stairs? We didn't even make any sort of noises at all, and then he suddenly shows up out of nowhere. This grandpa is better than the last grandpa we had to fight and juke from the granny game we used to play. He has like a tracking dart on us. If only I had the shorty from the granny game, then this would have been already over. There you go again, wishing for some 18 plus content, Donald. You always try and make the family friendly games that Joe picked for us get gruesome. Give up on that shorty, Donald, because we have the next piece of paper. How the hell does that even help me? Can't we just use that shorty and blast the hell out of that guy and have him respawn the next few minutes? Because all this running around is making me tired. Yeah, no joke. With that body of yours, of course, you would get tired. And we just saw him get up there. We really have to be careful not to get caught because we might lose our entire progress. Don't fucking act like you didn't just diss my body earlier, you old fart. And if we do get caught, then I'm blaming the shit out of you because no way would I ever make a mistake like that in my life. Shit, run the hell out of this house because he's already up there trying to find us again. Shit! How the hell are we ever gonna complete this part of the game? He's just way up our asses. Can't he just stop for a while? Yeah, we always have to run a kilometer just to lure his ass just to find ourselves all the way back here. What does this papers even do when we arrange them? We also need two more, then we can probably piece it all together. I think it'll show us something like the code for that safe. Because I saw numbers on those papers. Yeah, that's probably it because I am the greatest and smartest man alive. Easy peasy puzzle. We just need to find the last two. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about the damn safe we dug up from that hole. Shit. Then we really need to hurry up and find those papers so that we can finally open the safe and have my ice cream. Yeah, but we first we have to chill the fuck out before he catches our asses and be really careful with how we move around here. It's like he has ears all around the house. Is he really even old? Wait, I think I know what to do. Just this and this, then voila. We have the next paper. And yeah, I think he is. I mean, he looks quite alike like Joe here. Uh -huh. Now we just have to find one more to find all the missing pieces. That's really good, but am I supposed to pretend that you didn't just compare me to an old bastard that's been chasing us around this entire time? You orange-looking clown, I hope you stumble your steps. Yeah, yeah, keep dreaming. I mean, I am not dissing you. I am just speaking some facts out, and it's not even like I'm lying or something. Shit, he's here. We have to put this up there and find the last one. Ah, shit! How the hell was that even possible? And you cannot blame that thing on me, Donald. That was clearly your fault and not mine. Ha <laughs> ha, I can finally diss the shit out of you. Yeah, how the hell did you not even see that bear trap back there, Donald? 
I mean, we should have stepped on it the first time around. Was there some kind of bug or something? Of course not, Barack. That was supposed to be a fall ledge. The game didn't let me step on it on purpose, and that's clearly the dev's mistake, thus making me not guilty on that aspect. The game is the one at fault. I wonder how the hell can you say this stuff out loud and confidently? Like it has completely nothing to do with you, when in fact it has something big to do with you. You egotistical bastard. Phew. I'm just glad that he didn't hide the papers in another place because that would have been hard. You're lucky that didn't happen, Donald, because I would have roasted the shit out of you. I'm too excited to open the safe and look what's inside of it. Well, personally, I am too excited to beat your ass if you don't shut the fuck up right now, bro. And we have four pieces of paper already. We just need one more to finish off this bulletin board. And why the hell is this grandpa always there when we are? I'm just glad that he doesn't start spam placing those doors with booby traps like the bear traps because it would get too messy. Yeah, glad he has some limits as an NPC because he is doing way too much. We can't even peacefully look at what the paper is going to form when we put them all together. Holy shit, did you guys see that? His gun was sticking out the damn door. And how the hell are we still alive if he keeps on shooting us with that gun? What bullets is he even using? Paper? That wouldn't make any sense, Joe. I bet he's using pellet guns to slow us down. Because if he used real bullets, then I doubt that we'd be still standing here around and running around his house. Oh, wait, I think I see something up here. Yeah, we really can get up here. I wonder what he's hiding here. Maybe the last piece of paper to piece out the entire bulletin board. What was that indicating anyways? Wait, I think I just flipped something. The boar's head, how is this even up here? Wait, I think I saw one downstairs too. Ah, shit! He got us, how the hell was he there? I didn't even see him anywhere. He's definitely a hacker. I don't think I remember how many times we had to redo this entire run for just this part of the game. We really have to watch out for him. He's doing way too much. Even I didn't see him. I mean, of course, the two of you wouldn't be able to see them because you guys share the same IQ and the same brain cells, haha. Uh -huh. That one was clearly your fault, but the other one was the dev's fault. How the hell is that even fair and right, Donald? I wish you could encounter someone with the same mindset and ego as you, bro, so you can realize how painful it is to watch you suffer like a dumbass. The thing is, Joe, there is no one like me because I am way too special for this world to handle. If there were two of me, then there would be too many blessings in the world. Although I could find so many people like you. So what he's saying, Joe, is that he could find too many people like you, but we can't find anyone else like him. Oh shit, let Donald cook. He's saying that you're way too common. Would you even let that slide? Personally, I won't. Oh yeah? He said that? I didn't understand it the first time he talked shit, but now I do. Thanks, Barack. And you won't be looking to special now if I use this face to give you a plastic surgery. Yeah, just go ahead and try me, dumbass. And since when did you become an instigator for the two of us, Barack? Usually you stop us from fighting, but now you want us to fight. People change, I guess. And I'm just way too sick and tired of telling you guys off. I'm not your damn mom to keep scolding you all the time. And it seems like we got the all the boar's heads. Where can we find the last piece of the paper we got to have for the safe to open? Oh, here. Of course it's in the microwave. How did I not even think of that? We got all the pieces of papers, boys. Oh shit, would you look at that? That's a damn map. X marks the damn spot. Looks like we're going on a treasure hunt, boys. It's near a tree that's near a river, I think. Near some rocks. Close to the house. Got it. Wait, what the hell did you just say, Barack? X marks the spot, and where is it? Near some trees? What the fuck? There's too many trees here. Where the hell can we find it? What trees are you talking about? Dumbasses. That was already the safe that we successfully dug out earlier. We just needed the codes, remember? Oh my god, I can't believe I am literally playing with people who shares the same brain cells. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about that. I don't even have dementia, but I forgot about it. Well, that was kind of stupid of me. I hope Michelle doesn't see this because she'll surely make fun out of me. Yeah, speaking of safe, I hope this has the ice creams I have been craving the entire day. I completely forgot about this safe. And to be honest, we were just too excited to find the treasure when we saw the X mark. Too bad, Sleepy Joe. We only found a key and no surprises from the both of you. I don't need your damn helps. I can solo speed run the hell out of this game with myself only. You guys share the same brain cells. Yeah, shut the fuck up, you orange looking clown. Why don't you go ahead and go back to the damn circus that you really belong? I bet this key leads to another big safe that can be stores a shit ton of ice creams. Yeah, I don't think it's really good to have your dreams up like that, Sleepy Joe. You'd end up just depressed for the whole session. 
There's no way that this key leads to an ice cream truck. No shit, Sherlock. Just look at that damn key. It clearly has a big-ass book hanging on top of it. Maybe it's for a library or something, but it clearly has something to do with a book. A big book. Or maybe. Just maybe. A book inside an ice cream truck that has shitloads of ice creams. Especially the super vanilla, creamy, frosty pineapple pizza ice cream I've been craving since the day I was born. Yeah, don't tell me you've been dreaming of that crazy-ass food combination while you were out there living in the damn ice age. And no wonder it's not been satisfied yet. Like it does not even exist. Yeah, I hate to break that shit to you, bud. Better luck next time. And we have managed to run across the neighborhood just to reach here. Maybe this key can open something in here. Hopefully. Wait, please don't tell me that shit is true. Don't make me pull out my damn scissors to cut the shit out of you people. Shit, he's already here, goddammit. Why is he even here? I'm sure the scissors are dull enough to pull it off. Shit, shit, shit. Ring around the roses, a pocket full of posses. We have to juke the hell out of this man. And I kind of fancy this house. It has the whole aesthetic that I'm going for. Red because it's elegant. Yeah, but it has vines growing all over the place. It's really not that elegant and fancy Donald. You might have to reconsider those options once again. We have to find a hint here fast. Maybe somewhere up here. Ah, shit. How the hell is he even back there? I thought he went inside a damn room. This game is bullshit. This NPCs are way too advanced now. It knows what we're doing. Wait, do you have a fever or something, Joe? When the hell did you even start sounding so smart? Did you learn that from chat GPT or something, huh? -huh? Oh shit, we got caught. This neighbor really has to go. Shh, Donald, don't say shit about chat GPT or we'll be involved when those students or the viewers we have start using it for their day-to-day -day classes. Let's gatekeep the heck out of it. What the hell are you two even talking about right now? Chat gravity or some shit. How the hell is that even relevant to the state of the economy of the world right now? Unless there's ice creams involved, mwahi. Shut the hell up right now, Joe. Stop trying to act cool and shit. You can't fool any of us, bro. We know that you're just trying to show off to some of our viewers for the next upcoming election. Anyways, we opened the locked door. So this was what the key was for? Fuck, I really wanted some ice creams. Well, what a damn letdown. But wait, there's still a chance though, because we have another safe in here. Maybe it's a mini fridge or something with ice creams in it. Wait, what does this look weird? Oh shit, we opened a secret hidden door, just like the ones I installed all over both of your houses to spy on you. I mean, this is such a nice bedroom. Shit, you opened it at the worst timing possible, Donald. I don't think he sees us though, Never mind, he does. Shit, 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 we have to get the hell out of here. Why did he even try to sleep the moment we opened it? I don't think we fucking lost him, bro. No way that would be enough to shake this bastard off. It might take more than that, actually. Tiptoes is the key to losing him, though. And what was the purpose of this secret passageway anyways? Yeah, it just connects to his bedroom, and it opens in a very visible manner. Oh shit, he's chasing us again. We have to get the hell out of here. Ring around the Rosies. This is the best game to play to get away from you NPCs. This doesn't even make sense. We're just running around in circles like kids. But I can't believe it worked. I mean, please go away from your own bedroom. I just wish that we could lock some doors to buy us some time. Shit, what do you mean, Joe? He's right up our asses again. We're just doing endless laps around this house. Can you please get the hell away from us, sir, before I blast you with my shorty? If this was an Olympic game, then who knows how many times we've been running around in circles by now. I think he's gone, though. Boys, check around the vicinity and try to find something off, like that one. How did you even find that Barack? I thought that was just a mat of some sort, like a bedroom design, but no. It was a press the gate mechanic. And with that, we grabbed a gear. Oh no, I think he's here, shit. Hide for a while, and what the hell did you just say, Joe? No one had a mild stroke trying to understand the sentence you just said that fast. It was a pressure plate, dumbass. I can't believe that we got away with that bullshit. We even played the TikTok trend right there. The where this globe lands is where I'll be traveling or some shit. That was dope. Shit, he's awake. We have to get out of here. I knew there was something off with that globe. It had an X mark in it and it seemed unusual. There was another hidden cog inside of it. Oh wait, I didn't even notice that. And are we really just gonna ignore the fact that we didn't get a broken leg doing that reckless ass jump? And looks like we have two out of the three cogs we need for that old clock. Yeah, and speaking of cogs, there we go. We have the last one already. We have all three now. 
Now we just have to find the hint that the clock is going to give us after we put the three of it in there. Yeah, how the hell did you even manage to find that in there? There we go. Phew. That took quite some time. I guess the game was against us. We have all of the three cogs needed. Shit, shit, shit. That actually scared the living shit out of me. How the hell did he know that we're here? We weren't even that loud. Ah! Shit, this game is actually so scary. I shat myself again. Fuck. How many times was that this time? He literally popped out of nowhere, then started chasing us. It's like they have ears around their houses. I can't even hear it when Michelle starts cooking and I'm upstairs. I mean, come on now, Barack. Can you actually start speaking facts like stop lying? We all know that you're the one who cooks in your household. You ain't fooling me, boy. Yeah, like how can you not hear yourself while you're in the damn kitchen cooking away what you need? And I think he went to bed because I saw him enter his room earlier. This is our chance now. I grabbed the cog. Now what? We clearly put it inside here. How can you even forget that part, Sleepy Joe? Now we just have to find the next hint that the clock gave us. But first we have to get out of here. It seems like it woke him up. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. I mean, who doesn't wake up when they hear a loud ass sound as loud as that one? That basically woke up the entire neighborhood. And am I really just gonna pretend that y'all didn't diss me earlier? Yeah, I mean that we didn't diss you. What the hell are you even talking about, bro? And how the hell does he even keep finding us? I'm sure we were doing the ninja shit I've seen in the movies. Wait, I think I know the code. Um, it was 11 and uh, 35. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's how you do it. And those ninja movies that you're talking about, Joe, might be Kung Fu Panda or the Ninja Turtle. That would make absolute sense on how he is acting right now. And wait, the things that's not making any sense right now is where are we now? We just accidentally flashed ourselves and now we teleported, huh? I mean, Kung Fu Panda is kind of nice and they do ninja stuffs too, so they're my idol. And where the hell are we? Why is his Hoshui dark and what? A gold coin with an orange logo in it? This gotta be expensive. Wait, more gold? Oh fuck, wait, he's bird is puking gold coins. How the hell is that even possible? But I can't lie, that is pretty cool. I kinda want one right now. Ah! Shit, did it just bite us? What the fuck, bad bird? Shit, I actually pissed myself a little bit and no way that was just another bad dream. Like, what the hell is going on in this place? All the people are actually weird and it looks like no birds for you, Donald. Yeah, but can we really say that when we're looking like as weird as them? Like we have CCTVs around the house and I bet it's looking at other people's houses. Maybe this is a neighborhood of weird people. If that's the case, then Joe really has to move out his house right now and get involved in this neighborhood. More importantly, I want that gold puking bird. I'll then call Jeff Bozos to melt those gold coins and make it a statue of me. Oh, I don't think you have to make one. You have one of yourselves right here. Maybe this is one of your ancestors, Donald. And that would be such a waste of so much gold. No one would even look at it. Yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up. You're just jealous of my foolproof idea. In fact, the gold should be happy because it's gonna made into a statue with the face of the greatest human being alive. If the gold coins that has those orange logos on it, Donald can talk. They'd probably shouting for their lives and opposing on that stupid idea. And wait, are we not gonna talk about how that dog has more than two eyes? What the hell are you talking about, Joe? That was clearly an Apple logo. And those eyes that you were talking about, those were eyebrows. Something is definitely wrong with you. You have to take those medications. Oh wait, shit, is that even true? What the fuck, those were damn Apple logos? Those didn't seem like an Apple to me, bro. Like, come on, Apple logos have a bite on the side. Just like the ones on those Nokia phones. Blood doesn't even have any idea on what Apple products are and what eyebrows is. Yeah, I kind of am feeling the regret of voting you for president, Sleepy Joe. I mean, this just slaps hard. Wait, 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 wait. I know we were having a good pace during our conversation that would end up roasting Joe, but you didn't vote for me? You dumb fuck. You even said that I'd have your vote. You're such an imposter. Uh, did I? I don't think I did because I don't remember saying it. Is that even really important like my vote would decide the outcome of the election? More importantly, we have to keep up with the owner of this house. Are you trying to gaslight me, Barack? You are so gonna get what you deserve when I press this big red button on my table that would probably launch a missile straight to your house. Shit, 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 the music just turned up. Fuck, we have to get the hell out of here. What the hell was that bullshit? No way he saw me hiding down his stairs. That was just plain bullshit. I didn't even get to see his face. Yeah, he's like a super rich old dude that's super cool to hang out with, but in the damn 90s. Damn, I used to dream to become one of those when I grow up smoking big cigars that would bring me cancer. Good old days. 
Such a wasted opportunity for you to die in Donald Ha Ha. And wait, where the hell did that bastard go? He was here moments ago playing the damn piano. Did he just magically teleport? He's right there, Joe. Are you damn blind? Did all of those ice creams turn you blind? We have to do this combination quick and done just like that. Now time to bail the fuck out of here. We got one step out of the way. That was kind of adrenaline pumping, no joke to be honest. I'm just glad that he doesn't chase us all the way outside his house because that would be too tiring. Yeah, of course, that would be the case when you have that fat tum-tum of yours, haha. -ha. And now what? Do we just keep juking him and find out what those piano combination unlocked? Count me in. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we have no other way of progressing, but full disclaimer, I think there's no ice cream in this house, Joe. First, we have to get out of here because he likes to chase us. Yeah, yeah, like why are these people not getting tired running around the damn house? And don't act like I forgot about what you said earlier, Joe. <clears throat> The time will come that you will have a big chum. Those 20 liters of ice cream's gonna get to you. Yeah, no, that would actually be pretty scary, but I do cardio every day to avoid that from happening. I just take one step at the stairs, then done. That's it. And by the way, this guy has a look alike. Yeah, I kind of get what you're saying, Sleepy Joe. That doesn't mean that I'm agreeing to your opinion, but first we have to get the hell out of here. But yeah, he kind of looks like a mafia boss owner. Yeah, no, you are way too off of what I'm thinking about, Donald. I was thinking that he looks like a guy from the movie called Moana. I don't know what the hell his name is, though, but yeah. Bro, he's not even big and buff with curly hairs. You are imagining things way too differently, Joe. You have to wake the freak up. I kind of am digging the cartel vibes that Donald was saying earlier. Yeah, mine would make absolutely more sense than what Joe is speaking right now. Like, who the hell sees Maui in him? Mine's pretty accurate, though. Don't you think Barack giving his vibe and all that? Yeah, I hate to agree with you, but even this house is giving the mafia cartel vibes right now. I mean, it would make sense that someone like him would have a big-ass house with a big front yard and a statue of him. Yeah, I don't really see why you guys are both agreeing about this, because I clearly see Maui in him, and that ain't changing. He's like Maui, but living in the modern world. That would make sense, too. Yeah, that would make no absolute fucking sense, Sleepy Joe. Why don't you shut the fuck up before I drown you in the water and have your Maui and Moana find you out in the ocean? And yeah, I think this boat really belongs here. Wait, look, that just opened something and it has the picture of the puppy outside that was guarding the grave. I mean, that pile of dirt out there. And there's some code that's being highlighted. 8691, it says. Shit, did you just say another grave? Don't tell me the thing that that dog is guarding is another grave. Can we please go home, because I want to stop digging up dirt that has probably zombies under it, please? Stop being a damn wuss, Sleepy Joe. I mean, it's clearly daytime in this game, and why does a pile of dirt even scare you? Let me just dry this meat that's being barbecued right now and feed it to the dog. That would surely make him quiet down. Oh, hell yeah, good thinking, Donald. This would make us a dog food for this puppy, and if he stops barking, then maybe, just maybe we can start digging this pile of dirt that he has been guarding. I didn't even think of that, and where did those two extra eyes go? They're gone now, what the fuck? That was some kind of bullshit, to be honest. I clearly saw it a while ago. More importantly, time to dig up this ice cream pile. Oh shit, this is it? What the hell are we supposed to do with this Harry Potter looking kind of wand? What the hell is this supposed to be? What the fuck? That was kind of anticlimactic. That's it, I'm gonna sue the devs for that one. Maybe the statue, because it kind of was missing something. Maybe this wand will fit? Ah, uh, yes. Finally, we managed to find it. We got another gold trophy. I wonder what we have to use this for. Shit, all we got was a wand, and in return, we had a gold trophy. What the fuck? Can we sell that crap and buy them all into ice creams? That would make it more better than playing with that damn thing. Yeah, I don't think so, Joe. Even the statue that's facing the doorway inside the house has a golden staff in his hand. I guess that is really supposed to be there. Oh, well, staff and trophy acquired, I guess. Oh, wait. I thought he saw us, but he just minded his own business like a champ and started playing some tunes. This ain't even half bad, though. This is really good. This guy is living the life. Yeah, this is the ideal rest house and the rest life of any person in the world, even including the best and greatest human alive. Now let's explore upstairs and you guys help me find the thing we have to do so I can take credit for it. Did you really just try and made that sound beneficial to us, bro? You really are something? Maybe this is how you got Melania in the palm of your hands, by thinking she could benefit something from you. Ha ha, she got scammed. Wait, I think I just saw a trophy up above. 
more Parker shit, I guess. And wow, this bed really has a good bounce on it. This is the bed that I want, where I can do all the type of gymnastic stuff on it. Yeah, I wouldn't really recommend you to do that Sleepy Joe because you might suffer some injuries later on and that wouldn't be good. You'd end up being one of those monkeys on that song where the fell off the bed. Yeah, haha. Imagine giving a gift so Sleepy Joe and it's a bed and moments later you get a call that he gets into a coma because you got news that he has been jumping on it. Haha, -ha, that would be pretty funny. The only thing that was funny during the entire thing you just said was your laugh, shithead. That is such a bad joke, Barack. Screw you if something happens to me when I play on my bed later on. Hey, don't make it sound like it's gonna be my fault when you get an injury for doing something super dumb. You're a grown-ass adult and you're old enough. You don't need to act like a kid. You guys really do share the same brain cells. Can you please both shut the fuck up and bait your hands into grabbing that trophy over there that has some lasers in it? Apparently we need five trophies to open something. Can you please stop making that sound like it's a good idea, Donald? You nearly had me convinced because I was about to grab that shit and give that thing to you. You really are a manipulator. Yeah, it's not my fault that you cannot identify danger and just do what you're told like a dumbass. Anyways, I think we can get up here. Whoa, this is a nice view for a place. This could really be relaxing if you guys weren't here. Hey, how about you shut your mouth up? I could say that shit to you too. I mean, having another orange looking clown here doesn't bring help to beating this game. Yeah, like playing with an old fossil be easier than playing with me, dumbass. Shut the freak up before I return you to the museum that you escaped from. And I wonder what's inside this attic. I hope the trophies are here. What kind of attic is this anyways? This is one of the most dangerous attics I have seen by far. It even uses these planks as a bridge to the next part of the attic. I changed my opinion about cartel houses. Just as they say, don't judge the title of the book by its title. Wise words from the wisest guy I know. I will never forget that quote for the rest of my life. That helped me win the election. Yeah, don't you dare fucking tell me that was one of the quote that helped you beat me. It isn't even the right one, Sleepy Joe. What the hell is wrong with you? If you didn't said that, then you might have lived the rest of your life staying dumb. What the hell do you mean by that, you orange looking clown? Are you trying to gaslight me again? I swear that was it, and no way I was wrong about saying that. What's wrong with what I said anyways? I took the fuse out of the electricity panel. That would surely disable the online defense mechanisms inside this cartel house. And shut the fuck up, you dumb fuck. It's don't judge the book by its cover. Way off on what you said. I can't believe that you misheard a very common quote that is known by majority of the population in the world, Joe. That would have been embarrassing. Imagine you told your grandchild that quote. Yeah, then that would be the start of the end of his entire bloodline. He just made a dumb quote, be an inheritance thing for the rest of his children's. Now all of them are gonna grow up as dumb as him. Shut the fuck up, you orange fat clown. At least I ain't as big as you is. Look at where those damn McDonald's fast foods got you now, sucker. And I'm about to put this fuse in where I 100% found by myself. I mean, you really aren't in the position to body shame us, Sleepy Joe, because I heard that the entire course meals you have for the entire day is composed of ice creams all the way. Anyways, time to crack this open. I opened that bad boy up and look at what it gave me, another damn trophy that can be stashed with my collections. I mean, I kind of deserve this for being, you know, the greatest and smartest, humblest human alive. Stop over praising yourself, Donald, and are we not going to talk about that super hidden passage on that damn closet? That was super duper cool, bro. I want one of those in my house, leading to my ice cream vault. The only thing that is super around here is your damn diet, Joe. And shit, he's unto us again. How the hell did he find us this time? We were tiptoeing around the damn house. Now I'm convinced he has wall hacks. Let's just run away from him this time. Ring around the rosy. That's what we're good at, and would you look at that? We stumbled upon one of the missing trophies again. That was kind of lucky. As unlucky as we can get when it comes to the timing on Mr. Cartel over there. At least we're lucky in finding the hints and items we need. Now we just need one more trophy and the ice cream vault's gonna open up for me. Yeah, but I actually had everything calculated as I am the greatest and humblest human person alive. That was all within my speculations. Not that you guys would understand, but yeah, let's hurry up and find the last trophy. Let's go. Ah, uh, shit. Where the hell did he even come from? He just slid up that door and acted like nothing happened. That was kind of rizzy as shit though, but it's even scarier. Crap, shit, shit, let's get out of here. Too late, Joe. We already got caught by your dumb ass. Did you seriously let your intrusive thoughts win you over? We knew he was inside his room, yet you still destroyed that glass picture. 
That actually made me jump away from my teleprompter, but yeah, it was shining and I figured it might be satisfying if I broke it and that's what I did. Nothing's wrong with that. I don't think there's something wrong with it. What kind of dumb logic is that, Sleepy Joe? Are you really trying to justify your dumb actions right now? I don't ever want to hear that from you. Control your intrusive thoughts before I smack you like what you did to that glass picture earlier. Yeah, as dumb as what he did, it seems like the disc is actually worth something. Yeah, it might fit into this tape player right here. Hell yeah, I think I'm right, but what now? What does this song do? Oh shit, a disco? Hell yeah, and the tunes are kind of good too, not gonna lie. But more importantly, what the hell is up here? That was a damn entrance to another secret attic? That was cool. It even closed automatically, but wait, I think this is a trophy right here. Oh hell yeah, we got all five of them. Now the problem is how we're gonna get back up there without getting caught. Shit, let's just sleep here till he sleeps too. That's one of the dumbest idea I have ever heard, Sleepy Joe. That would just make everything harder than it is right now. Let's just slowly but surely go back upstairs and put it in the collection. I'll take point. I'm actually kind of having doubts about this game. Like, are we really just interested in the plot or are we just simple house robbers that's trying to find something that could feed our entire family? Ha ha. Either way, I don't care if I become a house robber and if this is all what I have to do to find those secret ice cream vault that I have been craving ever since I was a little kid. It'll be all worth it in the end. Yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up already. Oh shit, he's here. Wait, what? He doesn't see us through this glass that he has in his door? What the fuck just happened? I guess he has a brain as the size of a pea too, like Joe. Let's just go through this secret magical door that leads to his trophy room right here. Like the magic show I saw when I was a kid. Oh shit, never mind, he's here, fuck shit crap moron dumbass. Let's get the hell out of here. I thought we were trying to make this a family-friendly channel, Joe. With all the curses you made, you could get us demonetized, ha ha, and strike while the iron is hot. We got a sailboat steering wheel. Really? A damn steering wheel? That would just remind me of the good old days we had when we were playing Sea of Thieves and I was the captain commanding both of you on what to do, ha ha. I guess we put it here. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say you were the captain during those times, Donald? Now I just know that you're lying. Although I am a forgetful person, I know deep within my heart that I wouldn't serve under someone like you. Ah, shit, we just got caught. I mean, where were we supposed to go during that situation? And yeah, you got him there, Joe. Let Joe cook. You can't deny that fact, he just said Donald. Yeah, of course you'd be saying nonsense too, since y'all have the same brain cell doesn't mean that you have to team up against me. Not that I mind at all, of course, and stop being cringe, Joe. Since when have I ever been cringe, Donald? Stop making stuff up before I smack you with this frying pan I found in the kitchen. Before that, I kind of smell a scent of ice cream up here. I'm sure I smelled it somewhere around here. Whoa, 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 blood just casually found a shortcut that leads upstairs with the love he has for ice creams and the big nose he has for smelling. Who the hell are you? Tanjiro, is that you? Yeah, no way he could do the water breathing form that Tanjiro practiced. And there's not a single ice cream here, Joe, just a key. A big ass key. Who knows where we need to use it this time. Wait, what the hell are you guys talking about again this time? Is this another reference like some cartoon shit that you guys always mentioned the last few games we were playing? Gen Z type of shit, fuck. You have it all wrong, Sleepy Joe. It's called an anime and be careful with what you say or the entire fandom might be here to diss us. And if the teens now are the Gen Z, then from what generation are you, Joe? Come on now, stop asking me questions, I don't know. But yeah, I don't really know about that and I haven't given it much thought. What is the name of the generation for the people that comes from Ice Age? Gen A? Ha ha, good one, but yeah, thinking about it, that might really be the case since it's Gen Z now and it all starts from somewhere. And I really forgot sometimes, Joe, that you come from a different era. Anyways, we're here now. We're freaking back here all over again. I hate this house, it's too scary. Ah, shit, he's unto us? That fast, really? Sheesh. We really have to be careful here because I don't want to get caught again this time. I just wish that I could use some of my tools to rip the shit out of that guy. Especially if I had my shorty with me, then this would have been long over already. Let's just explore his house again this time and find where this key leads us. Wait, why the hell is he just standing there outside his big ass door? Did something bad happen? What the fuck? Is he broken or something? Wait, let's check it out and find out. Uh, no, he's definitely alive. He just made a gesture that said that we should get the hell away from his house, but nothing else. He's not even chasing us one bit. Is he broken or something? 
fuck it, we still have to get inside his house anyways, YOLO. Oh my fucking God, Barack, I didn't expect that from you. That really caught me off guard. That made me stand up on my fucking seat, bro. I really thought we were gonna get caught. Expect the freaking unexpected Joe. That is what the wisest people always say. Make a backup plan for everything, and here's the door that we had to open. What the hell do we have inside this room? What the fuck is this, and why the hell is this inside his damn house? Is this some kind of cult-type shit that's going on inside here? We have to be really careful and watch our backs, because he might not be broken anymore. Hey, don't you say that, Barack, because that makes me nervous, bro. Please let that dumbass of a neighbor be stuck down there and never ever chase us inside his house ever again. Manifesting. You really have to stop saying cringy ass lines, Joe, like you're some kind of teenager. Remember that you're a Gen A or something? You're not fit to say those lines and it makes us cringe. Anyways, look around and we might find something good. Yeah, I think I already did find something that might be the next thing we have to do. I saw another latch up there next to the wires that was leading up to the bear. Reminds me of the five nights of Freddy's DLC all over again. We got a book inside the bathroom, boys. And what the hell are you talking about, Barack? What game are you speaking of? Did you and Donald play a game without me or something? I don't remember a DLC game at all. Why is the book inside the bathroom anyways? You know what? Never mind. Everything in this game is weird already. And yeah, thank you for the idea, Joe. We'll be playing a game without you. Of course you don't remember that. Yeah, maybe it's because you have dementia, Sleepy Joe, and it's making you forget all of that, huh? And shit, the plank just creaked fuck. That might have woke the neighbor up. Shit, we have to get out of here. Shit, crap, fuck. We really have to get out of here quickly. Since when did he got fixed, bro? I manifested earlier and I was sure that it was gonna work. Like, what the hell? He could chase us the whole damn time. Yeah, he really done us bad. He really fooled the shit out of you guys. He definitely did not fool me because I am the greatest person alive and no way I would fall for that shit that easily. It's kind of funny seeing you, Donald, trying to gaslight yourself into thinking you expected that to happen. Trying to convince yourself is kind of pretty hard, huh, when you know the truth. And what the hell do we have here? No, I ain't gaslighting myself, Barack. You're the only one who does that to convince yourself that you're the man of the house, ha ha. And what the heck did we pick up inside this hidden box? Is this an antenna or something? It kind of looks like one, though not gonna lie. What the hell are we supposed to use this one for? Does it have something to do with the mechanism we saw earlier? Only one way to find out, I guess. Is that really the shape of an antenna? I kind of forgot, but if it is, then we have to use it outside. Or was it inside? Who cares? I'm just going to break down this door because it kind of looks bright. And what do we have here? You actually sounded smart for a while, Joe. Not until you showed us your weakness by admitting that you weren't sure about what you just said. You almost got called smart for once in your lifetime. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I was about to agree too, but I guess dementia has its own way of downgrading the people that has it. Anyways, let's just slowly and surely make our way up this ladders we have. We might do the leap of faith this time. What the hell is the leap of faith, Barack? I think you mentioned it a little while ago, but I can't remember what the hell it is though, ha <laughs> ha. Anyways, I think we're at the very top of the roof now. Yeah, it really has an antenna all the way up here. I really thought what we found earlier was just a piece of junk. I mean, I know it all along that it was an antenna that would be needed somewhere up here. Glad that Joe pointed it out though. But how the hell are we supposed to know that this is already working? Is there any indicator that would tell us when it's already working? No? Maybe this arrow's right here? I thought that those arrows were some kind of bottle cap right now or just some road signs, but it's designed for being displays on those damn antennas. Well, I guess I'm wrong. I really need some ice creams to reset right now. So I think we're just gonna assume that we did the right thing with those damn antennas we have. I mean, it's right because I was the one fidgeting with it and we all know that I'm always right. I don't think that sounds right, Donald. Weren't we told that women were always right? Especially when they're our damn wives, ha ha. Oh shit, wait, he's here. I didn't even notice him earlier. Glad that he's quite loud too. Ha ha, who the hell told you that, Sleepy Joe, because you are damn right. That is what Michelle always reminds me about. Anyways, looks like he has some business to attend to in that cult room. Now's our chance. Of course, you're the one who wants to say that shit, Barack. You're not even the man of the house and you claim that your husband is a she. He's always wrong too, because he's not even a female. How about you shut the fuck up before I throw this entire game right now and have your head go through that old TV monitor we were just watching earlier. Do you want that to happen, huh? Stop trying to threaten me, Barack, because that ain't gonna work. 
How about you shut up and go back to your kitchen and start making us some sandwiches? Keep quiet, or do you want to wake up and have an entire wall surround your house? First of all, I think we have to focus on escaping death with this neighbor because he's clearly chasing our damn asses. Second, I don't think building a wall overnight is possible. And third, how about you wake me up and surround me with ice creams? How about you shut the fuck up before I run my fist up your face, Joe, for making such unreasonable demands? Not that I cannot afford it, it's just that I don't want to feel like I owe you anything. That's actually what broke people say when they have no excuses else to be said. No, yeah, I understand, Donald. I mean, who would have enough paycheck to buy what I want when he's working in the circus? How about you shut the fuck up, you useless president? Day and day, you have never let me down in terms of proving that I am a better president and a person than you will ever be. Boys, focus on the damn game. How about we find the moment to strike and change the channels into Nickelodeon and watch some good old SpongeBob movies? That would surely boost the mood up. Agreed? I even forgot what we have talked about earlier when you mentioned SpongeBob. Anything for SpongeBob, bro, my childhood hero. But wait, why was that TV all static? No SpongeBob? Clearly SpongeBob isn't gonna be played on that old television and it actually showed us something. A planet in the form of a white paint amidst of all the static it's shown us. I think it was Saturn. Are you even sure about that, Donald? I mean, you could have just seen the wrong thing trying to find the right one, you know? It happens to the best of us. I don't even think a planet named Saturn exists. Wouldn't it be Uranus? That would make more sense. Ha ha, that was actually kind of funny, Joe. And yeah, Donald isn't kidding about this one because I saw it too. And it was Saturn because it had a ring like structure around it. No other planet has that. How about we finally try doing that secret pull on the books thingy, McJiggy? That would surely work now. Was it this and that or this and those? Oh shit, what was that? Ah, he's here, fuck shit crap. What the hell were we supposed to do? I was trapped. Great, and now we're back from the start. Again, and for your information, you weren't trapped, Joe. You were just clearly dumb. You cannot outjuke him. If I did that, I am sure I could pull it off no cap. He's up there staring at us. Oh shit. Now's the time to show us what you're capable of, Donald. You were really confident earlier, and in my own opinion, that was clearly a trap situation. Where is he now anyways? Oh shit, there he is, and yeah, shut the fuck up, Barack. You say that because you both share the same absolute brain cells, and no way you could pull that shit off. The only human that can will be me and me only. Yeah, no way you could do that. You're just trying to show off hoping that Melania comes and watch some of our videos. Now let's try that shit all over again. Oh uh, wait, I kind of forgot what we're supposed to do here. Uh, boys? Yeah, that's what you get. And I'll be taking this, haha. -ha. Now we have a whole ass bear head to add to our exotic collection. This is another great step to building my dream wall and use this as a hanging decoration. No, we're not doing that. We're just gonna return it right here. And he's chasing us again this time. We have to get the heck out of here and wait for the right time and find where to go next. Oh shit, he's up there, fuck. Wait, look, the hatch that leads to the attic is now open. Maybe we can find a way to get inside and maybe find something good over there, like ice creams maybe? No? Yes, please let there be some ice creams. Oh shit, someone just stepped on glass. Why the hell would there be glass shards around his damn house anyways? Let's wait for a while and find the right timing. There's a huge stairs that leads up, can't miss that. We're already up here, now what do we do? This place is just a huge pile of mess. Who has an attic in this location like what? And what do we have here? Look for some hints, boys. Hey, shut the freak up, Donald, before you offend some of the most greatest attic owners in the world. They might see this video and we might get into trouble. And what was that grim looking painting? More importantly, aren't we gonna check out what is behind this crying noise we have over here? Oh shit, it's the kid from that first cut scene we saw. He was locked inside here all this time, poor kid. Ah, uh, he was stuck here all alone with his toy and no one to help him. Don't worry because I am here. Big D man is on his way to put you to safety and get you out of here. That guy can kiss our asses goodbye. Poor kid was missing all this time. Glad that we managed to help him out. We finally got him. Now time to get out of here and return him to his damn parents. Oh shit, what? When and where the hell did he even come from? Run away as far as you can, kid, and don't ever look back. Let me handle this bastard. And I have a new title for this game because the one you have does not suit you, dumbass. This is the Hello Kidnapper game. Shit, he fucking caught us this time. We got traded by that dumb kidnapper. How the hell did we let that happen? Are we that weak? We could have smacked his balls here and there. 
Yeah, the character is just letting all of this happen. Anyways, not like this cage is enough to hold me in here. I could just get out when I want to and where I want to because I am the greatest human alive. Seriously, though, can we get the hell out of here already or are we going to be stuck here forever the same as that kid that we saved? How did we become the kidnapped when we saved someone else? Fuck. That was kind of pretty dumb of a plot twist to me, too. But yeah, let's just check the place around. Maybe it'll give us some kind of guide that'll help us get the hell out of here. This scissors that the kid have might help. Let's check the door again. Oh yeah, it worked on this damn cobwebs that was blocking the numpad that needed some digits to open. Shit, the problem is it's in damn reverse. We can't see if the digits that we're gonna enter is damn right anyways. This place sucks. And where the hell are we even gonna find the code for this lock now? I think I have an idea and I know this is gonna work because I am a damn genius and you guys aren't. Just watch me work and look for digits lying around this room. That represents the numpad code. Oh shit, really? The code for this iron freaking door is inside this room all this time. The kid could have escaped from here if that was the case, but he might have been too small to do all of that. Too young to... Yeah, even if he did find the codes, he wouldn't have been able to put the right combination. Because you cannot see the digits from behind this door and see if that was the right one you entered. Unless he had me. Stop making all of this about yourself, you orange-looking clown. You could just definitely check behind the bars on that corner we just used to check if we inputted the right number. Or you could just use simple math that would be greater too. And yeah, I found two codes already. Two was blue and three was red. Just shut up and let me focus and let me enter the damn combination, Joe. What the fuck do you mean use simple math? Even in this damn scenario, we have to use math to get out of here alive. Really? Well, I could just go die rather than take my sweet ass time trying to do some equations. Of course you're gonna say that. Well said from the Harvard graduated student that forged his freaking diploma. Just a little bit more and we're gonna be out of this wrecked place. And yes, we finally got it. Time to get that kid and get the hell out of here already. We have to hurry the fuck out of here and save that damn kid. We can't let that Mr. Kidnapper get him again this time. Not when we have come so far to take him back. We went through several houses, we can't let that go to waste. That's right, and he might be a son of a great ice cream factory owner, and if that's the case, then I could exploit him into giving me free ice creams for the rest of their life. A lifetime supply of ice creams, please. You actually just sounded like Jeff Bozo's Sleepy Joe, trying to exploit people like a dumbass. And I actually got the hatch to open, unlike you useless bastards. Time to find that kid and get us out of here. The character we have is the complete definition of that phrase or quotes that says that. I may not be strong, but at least I am super smart or something like that. He's way too smart for this game. Fuck, we just stepped on another bear trap. This is deja vu all over again, and we have to get the hell out of here. We all know that if we step on bear trap, the NPC is gonna chase the heck out of us. What the fuck? Why the hell are there so many bear traps? We just stepped on three multiple bear traps consecutively. That was crazy. It's like he actually calculated that it was gonna happen, bro. Shit, this is actually making my heart race like crazy. We have to get the hell out of here and please look out for bear traps. When we stepped on three of them, I shat myself like six times already due to the panic. That just makes me want to step on more bear traps, Sleepy Joe, ha ha. Oh shit, I think he saw us. We might be good though, since we're inside this little cubby. Oh shit, never mind, fuck what the freak. That didn't make any sense, like we're supposed to be safe inside that vent, right? Oh, well, if they added common senses to these NPCs, then that would make a lot of sense. The only thing that would make sense here if this kid is actually the owner of a vanilla ice cream company. We have to hurry the hell up and get out of here, kid. When we survive, introduce me to your dad as a hero. Shit, he's here, fuck. Ring around the rosy it is, and please tell me that you didn't saw me get inside this little cubby that we have. And stop forcing that kid to be a son of an ice cream company, Joe. It's definitely gotta be a construction company. Oh, hell no. And why would that even concern you if that kid is a construction company owner, bro? How the hell would that even benefit you? And oh shit, he's coming shit crap fuck. We have to get out of here quickly. How the hell did he know where and when to go? It's like they have a CCTV around the house that just telling them the damn information they need, you know? And is he going blind? Can't he see us here? Just be thankful that he didn't see us there. And oh shit, we might have to make this jump. Oh yeah, wait, where the hell did he even go? I swear I saw him here earlier. Did he teleport or something? He's probably gone away to take a shit, and is that Chucky the doll? Oh fuck, no, he's on our left. What the fuck, how did he even get there? I didn't even hear him and see him. 
shit crap. Hide, hide in that cubby quick shit. Wait, I see big screws on this heater he has in his house. Maybe we can do something about this with our wrenches. I don't know what we're doing and we might be even burning his house down, but fuck it. That actually sounds like a good idea, Barack, and don't you dare show any kind of sympathy or empathy for this Mr. Kidnapper over here or I'm gonna sue you and make you his accomplice, got that? Yeah, even burning his house down won't be enough to get rid of that kid's trauma. You know I love kids, right? I mean, I wanna save them and give what they really deserve. And if it's a burnt down house, so be it. Sheesh, you don't hear that shit every day? It's a pleasure to our ears, especially when it's coming from our beloved Mr. President of the United States. Yeah, but we have to wait until he gets the hell out of here. Then that is the damn time we are going to strike and tear this bolts from this heater. Now's the chance. We have to do it now, now. Oh, wait, shit, never mind. Now's not the time to do this, Donald. He's back there and he's even near the kid. He locked his entire house down just to keep us from leaving. What a damn psycho. Just you wait when we finally do this. Can we even reach it from here? Come on, that's so reachable. Don't tell me that it isn't because that's gonna be a lot of cap. Shit, he hurt us. Fuck, we have to hide back into that little cubby now. Fuck, just be careful of his range of aggro and let it all cool down before we give all of this another try. The next one is gonna be successful. Just check your corners. He might actually do a surprise attack on us if we're not cautious. Shit, where the hell is he even anyways? This mark keeps showing and it won't freaking stop, bro. Do I really have to check it out here and find where he's at? Oh shit, I think that was a really bad idea. Fuck shit, crap, crap. Stop fucking throwing Sleepy Joe. I think he hears us when we walk on those shards on the floor. Oh, it's just like Granny all over again. They just listen and go to the noise. The thing is, we have no rocks to lure them out. Oh, is that what's happening right now? I didn't even realize that. Oh shit, he's near the kid. Now we know what to do. Let's just wait in here, and when he goes up, it's the time to strike, boys. Got that? Yeah, that does sound like a solid plan to me, Barack. And this might be the time to finally strike. He's up and away. We just have to reach this and open it. And just like that, we did it. Oh, shit. He might have heard that noise, though. Shit, shit, shit. He must be smelling our damn asses right now, like we're some kind of rats, just so that he can find us and get us. This is so nerve-wracking. We have to get the hell out of here quickly with that kid. If he's smelling someone right now, Sleepy Joe, I am sure that would be you. I mean, someone can smell a pile of shit inside a diaper from a mile away. That is basically a hint to where we are right now. While you guys are talking like kids like usual, I got us our second gas extinguisher. And yeah, thinking about it, we need a damn key to unlock the main doors. Since the game gave us this, we might have to use it somehow. Oh yeah, that sounds about right. Not that I didn't know that, of course. I would know all of those information already since I'm the greatest human person alive. And with that, we got the key. It was burning within the fire all along. Just shut the fuck up and get it already. Fuck, are we even sure that we only need one? And can we really get out of here? That place doesn't really make sense that a key would be hidden there. It might be a trap. Shit, he really did hear us. Glad we managed to hide in the cubby before he caught us. And yeah, Joe, we have no other choice but to find out about it when we get our wits together and decide to bust out. Let's just wait for a few seconds to make sure that he goes as far as he can away from us as possible. Now's the best chance to get the hell out of here. It seems like we only need one for that big red lock. Get ready and be careful. Shit, 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 it doesn't even open. How the hell is that even possible? We have to find a crowbar to break this shit, right? Or even just a hammer will do. Oh wait, we have one displayed right here. Oh shit, it broke and we got it. Crap, I think we made a whole lot of noise and ain't no way he didn't hear that. We have to hurry up and break us out of here. We have no time to waste, bro. Hurry, fuck quickly. Shit, fuck, he's right behind us, I think. Ah, what the hell? Where did he even come from and why did he intercept us? That was so unfair and he should have not gotten me there. That was way too scary, though. Time to give this shot another go because you two dumbasses share the same ass brain cells. I'm pretty much convinced by now of seeing that performance. Barack even dropped the crowbar in the midst of all that. Just watch me speed run. Hey, you can't diss me about that. My mouse disconnected and I'm pretty sure Joe was the one who dropped that. And aren't we gonna talk about how convenient this is for us, having a crowbar near the exit? Can we please not? I mean, this is designed for the best gamers only and the best person in the human world, which is me, to be played. Just stop asking the game dev's decision for it will only benefit me in the end. How about you shut the fuck up, Donald, and take all of what you said back? I just got an email from the game developers that they want your Steam account, was it? And permanently ban you from all their games for trying to bribe them the answers. Those damn snitches. I was almost going to get away with it, too. 
sneak past him. Hell yeah. And all this gameplay has been too smooth, Joe, and you just realized that. I mean, no, I didn't bribe any game devs. I'm just way too natural at this game. Oh yeah, tell that to the judge. Oh wait, what were we talking about again? Oh shit, we're about to escape out of here. Finally, come on kid, just run and don't look back. We have to get out of here fast. Oh shit, the entire bird chandelier, he had fell off the damn ceiling. That was definitely the fault of false and bad engineering. And he deserved it, kid. No need to feel bad. I mean, he kidnapped you, bro. Let's get out of here now. Oh wait, no, what the hell are you doing? Get back here, oh. He's trying to help our Mr. Neighbor out. This kid really has a valiant heart. He's as worthy as being called a hero like Charles. Oh, what a wholesome ending for this game. Oh shit, what's that? Ah, what the fuck? We just got bitch slapped directly on our damn nape. That was way too scary and way too petty, to be honest. Shit, shit, shit. Hurry up and get out of there, kid. Don't worry about us. Seriously? Now we're the one getting kidnapped. Fuck! What a turn. That was one hell of an ending. I can't do this anymore. Goodbye. Me too, time for a nap. Goodbye. Fine, I guess we're stopping here for now. Goodbye, boys. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, President Multiverse, or I will build a fucking wall around your house as well. Thanks.